Ringmaster bringing in the mall hype. I actually remember to turn on Mallbot today. Y'all should be proud of me. I'm here. I'm here. You can't hear anything. You should be able to hear something. I can see levels. So that's a little concerning. SNL Monday indeed. Mr. Mago. I've been calling you Mr. Miyago for so long. I think. Mr. Mago? My ego? I've been doing I've been doing everything wrong. This is just this is redefining my whole life here. So as always, my hair is literally the most insane thing at the start of the stream. I just fucking I do everything else to get ready. And then I'll just all of a sudden I'll like turn on my webcam like right before I start streaming. I'm like, whoa, what even happened to this thing that is on my head? And then I'll run to the bathroom and like splash water on it. And I'm like, what can I do? How can I make this better? You can hear me? That's good to know, Tyweck. <sighs> So I've been, as usual, running around the house trying to get everything done. Fucking, I like, I go live and then I go over to the bathroom to fucking like pee and fix my hair and shit. And then Doxy's like, all right, I'm about to be ready for you to take me to D&D. &D. And I'm like, you think I can, you think I can drive you somewhere right now? You know what time it is? It is spooter day night so fucking hard right now. It's Mago, Mr. Mago. Man, I've, even once I realized I was pronouncing it wrong, I continued to pronounce it wrong. With my new wrongness. Absolutely stunning. Alright, let's boot up us some Outlast. That is fucking loud. That is... That is something. Alright, alright. Calm down with your loudness, Jesus. Alright. Oh, it showed up on its own and everything. Hold on, can I... I want to go offline. That way nobody can show up on my shit. Yeah. Yeah, to fucking load the ad first. That's garbage. Ah, uh, fucking, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I think I want to lower the volume ever so slightly. That should be good. How's your evening, Mike? It has been a stressful, stressful day. Uh, some stuff going on with Doxy. Is not, I'm not at liberty to stay, say, but it was some stressful and exciting things. Also, OMG Fap Fap. It's been like fucking 16 years. Uh, yeah, I had to... I had to help Doxy out with some crazy stuff. My computer exploded last night. It literally exploded. I was playing Rocket League with Chaos. All of a sudden, I'm like, yeah, Rocket League, Rocket League. And we're just like, just about to start taking the fucking the lead on these guys. And then there's like this loud pop. And then just smoke. Literal, literal smoke coming out of my computer. I swear to God. And as cool as it was, I was not excited. Uh, my computer just like shut down with the pop. Then the smell came. And uh, it turned out that my... Uh, my PSU died, so I was running around town. Also, fucking just recently moved to the Midwest, and apparently the Midwest does not know how to sell electronics. I had to drive like an hour, go to like eight different stores before I could find somewhere that sold a fucking PSU. Like, I found one place before the final place that sold PSUs, but the highest fucking wattage they had was like 250 watts or some shit. It was ridiculous, ridiculously bad. But finally there was like a Best Buy like an hour and a half away that had some fucking Garbage 850 watt, which is good enough. I mean, 850 watts is more than enough, but uh, I'm not entirely convinced with the brand name and shit. Mm. But, stress aside, there have been worse days. And I'm glad that I've managed to get everything in working order just in time for SNL. I literally just, like, finished installing the new PSU and then started getting ready for the stream and barely fucking made it. I think I went live at, like, exactly 8 o'clock. It was crazy. <sighs> not your fault. It's 4 a.m. for you. <laughs> You're not streaming at night. That's that's fair. That's fair. Um, so we want to do new game whistleblower. Hopefully the audio is. Oh man, I want to do the hardest difficulty because like it makes it scarier. But I feel like I might get like stuck and frustrated. 
I don't I don't know if it's, is it gonna make the puzzles harder or something okay let's try it wait oh it'll tell me it is the ultimate heart attack experience maximum difficulty and no no not no checkpoints no <laughs> okay so night I, I guess nightmare is the actual hardest difficulty and then insane removes checkpoints that's what I'm assuming that's a, that's how I believe that this is uh, claiming to work so we're not gonna do no checkpoints because straight up fuck that shit I'm not that good at video games Ah, man, I've been wanting to play this game for, like, straight up a year and a half. Maybe even more than that. Maybe, like, gosh, it must be, like, maybe even two years by now. Hello? So I believe it's a prequel. Like, we're going to experience when the fucking, like, the inmates took over the asylum or whatever with their crazy superpowers. Open those eyes. We don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. What's the matter? Somebody hit you? Here. Let me help. I feel like this might be super loud. Or also super quiet. Or maybe perfect. Is he licking me? He totally licked me! Kind of busy here. He's yeah, he's fucking Dr. Andrew Liquor Extraordinaire. They said hope made a lateral ascension. We hope. They're not happy about it? No. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. So we're being exposed to the crazy images. God, that's, a, that's real fucking loud. Hopefully you guys can hear me over that. Yeah, I'm struggling to remember the story. There's like those crazy images like show up and they like mind control people or give them superpowers or something. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Steam's facilities. Oh, this is the letter that you fucking have at the beginning of the first Outlast, I think. But it's been a really long time, so I'm not sure. But I think. Did not have time to fully read it. I'm pretty sure they just wanted me to know that it was the, like we're playing as whoever sent the letter to the journalist. We got restless leg syndrome. Uh, press left mouse button to send mail. Think. I'm not doing anything. You think I'm just sitting in? You think I'm just in here sending mail or something? You fucking lunatic! I'm not. Everything's fine. Oh, okay, so he can see us. He's not gonna kill us or anything. That's pretty cool. Some high mouse sensitivity. Also, can't tell if my chat's broken or y'all just ain't saying shit. Both equally believable. Hello. They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. But I've been asking y'all about the audio balance. Y'all ain't said shit. And I keep lowering my headphones. I want to have them loud for the scary shit. But it's fucking so loud it's in, in interfering with my ability. The FPS lags a bit or it's your eyes. It seems fine for me. Might be Twitch. Uh, where do I go? This door? Audio's fine? Nice. Also, what's going on? I am... Why the fuck? Why is this not scroll down all the way? I am... Zikabra? Zika... Zika... Zikabroa? What's going on? Things sound fine? Awesome. Good to know. Also... Shit, shit, shit. Oh, fucking, I am Zikabroa. Fucking follow. Thank you very much. And everything minimized on my other screen. Because I'm a goddamn fool. Hey, it's the giant thingy. I so om almost remember all this stuff. Is this us? This is us. Where have you been? Functional imaging interfaces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. Call into the chamber. Ask them to delay. No. I don't need another performance evaluation. The park here is gonna have us up and running. I'm not even looking. I can type without looking. Look, Ma, no hands. Shit. Oh, God, there's a lot of red. <laughs> we might have fucked it up. What do we do? Uh. Are we happy, Mr. Park? I'm so stoked. Uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. 
Yeah, I'm dedicated. I think I'm Mr. Park. We're probably Mr. Park, right? Oh, these, these poor crazy slash maybe not crazy people getting tortured or something. Yeah, we got the morphogenic engine. This all seems like science. Oh, shit! What? What do you think? What do you think I'm gonna do? I'm a computer guy. Also, Mike, if everything works out next month, I can get you Fallout 4, but you'll have to play some pretty get bad games first. You're gonna make me earn Fallout 4 by playing shitty stuff? Sounds like an evil plan. Damn right. Bap, bap. Right, this guy looks like he's having a good time. See, he didn't, he didn't want to go in there, and now look how fucking stoked he is. He's he's living his tentacle porn fucking fantasies. Is this what it's like working at EA? Got him. Uh, retrieve the laptop from the server room. Oh, yeah, I remember that. You need to exit the room, sir. What do you want to look like I'm doing? Gosh. I have a feeling that some shit's gonna go down while we're getting our laptop. Outlast, it's the kind of world we're getting your laptop. The simpler the task seems, the more awful everything is gonna go while you try to do it. PETA has a free Binding of Isaac clone without random generation on PS4. What? I remember PETA, didn't, uh, didn't they make a, uh, Super Meat Boy, like a Super Tofu Boy ripoff of Super Meat Boy or something? Ow. Mr. Whalen Park, consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level three security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow that was a dick move. To think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. <laughs> this guy's very mean. In fact, that was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Oh shit. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear that, agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. Yo. Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Whalen Park volunteer for the morphogenic engine program? Well, Yo, this is some Blair. fucked up shit right, right now. Indeed. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light and... Oh shit, you forgot about this? This being the hype-ass SNL Outlast whistleblower hype? Hype-ass hype? Also, what's going on, Aeromancery? You didn't miss anything. You just missed the boring intro. So sorry, Gravity Falls happened. That's understandable. Understandable. They're straight up cloning Isaac's gameplay for a game called Kitten Squad. It's bad to say the least. Jesus fucking Christ. I understood Super Meat Boy. Like, Meat Boy is meat. So they would make Tofu Boy sort of like a joke. But now, now they're just fucking picking on the same dude for no fucking reason. Like, Binding of Isaac, I guess it does have meat in it. But it's hardly like a pro-cannibal fucking... Pro-cannibal. Pro-carnivore fucking game. Alright, this is... This is not good. We've got morphogenic shit in our eyes. Oh no, it's Billy! I can't remember if his name is actually Billy. Fucking ghost though. Hello? Hello? Oh my god. We gotta fucking... I think it's time to go. Oh, sweet, a camera. My favorite. I still haven't watched any fucking Gravity Falls. People keep telling me it's good. All right, we took a note. How do we... Notes. Uh, if I die, I fucked up. Oh, God, where am I? Hours could have passed or weeks. Brain filled with static. They made me watch the... The engine. Have to get help. I have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't, exposes the truth. Lisa, baby. 
I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I thought I had... I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. Damn right you did. Like Gravity Falls is one of the best TV shows on right now. Is it like on par with like uh, Rick and Morty? Because Rick and Morty, it moistens my panties in a way no woman ever could. Whoops. Uh, you've wanted to watch Gravity Falls for a long time. Now when you're done with Rick and Morty, you think it's time to try it out. Yeah, like I'm still, I'm, I'm itching for a good, uh, a good sort of cartoon to watch when I'm winding down at the end of the day. Now that I've, uh, finished up all my Rick and Morty. Oh, God. That dude's pretty chill. He's, he's pretty chill. Shit, maybe we can just open this door. How do you know if your sister is on her period? Daddy's dick tastes like blood. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Hello. Okay, we don't. We maybe don't need the fucking flashlight right now. Oh my god. I'm not sure if this is just a, a scripted escape sequence or if these fucking dudes are actually something to be worried about. All right, that's probably for the best. Um, no, 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 no. I didn't. I was just looking for the bathroom. Take the blade. Keep it round enough, friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep it bottled up too long, and you might do something you regret. Too good for the likes of us. Think you're different? Something special. There are no observers here. Now, get the fuck out of here before I change my mind. I would love to. This guy, he he accidentally stood in front of the door, though, is the thing. Oh, I'm going this way? Okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, good good chat, everybody. You smooches. Bye. Ah, ah, fucker. Try to go. Come uh, back fuck. Here. I, I'm going. I'm leaving now. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Stupid Twitch didn't tell me you were alive. Literally, it just got interesting when I walked into that room. Where's, where's the light? I, uh, I did not, I did not do the best there. I think that I could have maybe done things a little differently. This time, I will stay calm. Oh, fucking. So calm. So fucking calm right now. All right. We got our light. Come on, come on. Can we shut that behind us? That's eh, probably not gonna do much. Oh god. Um Ah, up this way. Please please tell me he just can't open doors. Oh he actually can. Ha <laughs> loser! Get some thumbs, son. <laughs> Ring him out. What's going on, Travis? You're very excited? I've been waiting to play this game for for longer than you've been alive, Travis. Going to stay calm, instantly not calm. I thought I, I didn't expect the man. Is the thing? We need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here within. We don't even know the radio works. It's shortly. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signal, and the lights are on. Look, I was under control. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get. Did we just take a new note? We got an objective. Oh, objective. Use the shortwave radio in the prison. All right. Nobody expects the man except the man. I didn't mean to ignore you, party poison. Sorry, there was you came in at a very trying time. I was feel I was feeling very emotional, very vulnerable. I wasn't sure what was up and what was down. Alright. So we gotta go find the radio. Got a radio for help. Even though this dude just told a, told his fucking friend that he would murder him if he tried to get help. We have some serious fucking morphogenic shit going on with our eyes. Can we push this? Yeah. 
Oh, sh someone just fucking stood up in this room. We cool? We cool? I feel- Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna fucking grab us or some shit while we're trying to push it. I'm ready. Oh, it's so creepy. Hello, mate. Let's, just, let's get on out of there. Are you my co-op partner now? You can stand guard. I'll tell you if it's safe. What is this? This is Outlast Whistleblower, Mr. Poison. Is spookily doogly. Mike, your only advice is to keep my bunghole safe. My bunghole is my first fucking priority. That is a goddamn promise. Why is this asylum a demon from the lower realms? A servant of blah 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 the destroyer? Um they were running some sort of weird test. I think it was for, like, government projects to try and, like, make super soldiers or something. Doing something with this, like, morphogenic engine thing. Like, there's something to do with a ghost where they're trying to control the ghost or use the ghost's powers on, like, insane people, but also sane people that they lock up and say are insane. Uh, and basically, they fucking ended up creating a thing that they couldn't contain, and then the thing destroyed everybody, and the in fucking inmates just ran around. I'm a patient like you. He came in and my usual chill was gone. I was I was a little bit on edge. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to regain my composure. Doing my best. Do my best. They summoned a ghost trying to make Wolverine. That's basically that's the one line synopsis. That's the back of the box story quote. I think we have two notes that we have to read actually. There's a radio in the prison, shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk, make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtlety. Like you always said, I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is a dangerous. I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa, for the boys. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. The doctors are sick. I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today. Murdered and worse. I looked into one man's eyes. This is another. Tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor. Then saw the rags they've dressed me in and changed his story. Said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy. All sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading. And what am I? I watched this man die and only thought it's not me. Thank God. I know I'll die someday, but I don't want to be murdered. You're tearing us apart, Lisa. <laughs> uh, so we hit the button. Oh, that opened that then? I think we can get back to that. I wasn't really paying attention. Are you wearing fucking camo? It's, it's a fucking hoodie. Doxy gave it to me. It was a little chilly out today. I don't know what the fuck was following me. I think it might have been the ghost. I wonder if the ghost can go through the uh, containment area. That guy's running from that. I feel like we should probably follow the guy that's running away. You probably know something we don't, right? Oh, battery, sweet. Batteries are used for the infrared light on your camcorder. You can reload by pressing R. Of course, the front door is locked. Camera is seriously a functional attire, sir. <laughs> you shut your fucking mouth. Press J. Oh God, there's so much reading. You think he was running from me? He ran towards me and then around the corner. If he was trying to get away from me, he wouldn't even have gotten close. Oh. You may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Park of Lettonville CO in the coming week concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. Oh, that's that's us. Or we're not Waylon. Waylon's the, the boss or something. I don't know. We're the husband of Lisa, though. I, I know that much. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Waylon Park. Oh, we are Waylon. Former consulting contract 8208 resigned due to previously under undiagnosed Mental illness, I personally visited Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them with the silver lining that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assumed her, I assured her that with her power of attorney, she could try and fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be canceled and the family would be saddled with not insignificant health, insignificant Healthcare debts. 
Uh, Mike, it's a fucking ghost going through things. It's basically its main function of life. It seems like its main function of life is fucking murdering dudes. But secondary would be having fun going through walls, I guess. Mike, you can't, I can't see you. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm urban camoed right now. I don't know, what is, what is black and white camo? Is that urban? Or is it, like, the, the green is, like, for, like, green places. And then, like, there's, like, the orange, which is, like, for, like, deserts. This has got to be, like, urban, right? Urbans are pretty gray. Uh, hopefully she understood, but if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is one I want to take care of personally. Yours, Jeremy Blair. All right. Blair sounds like a real cop. Grayscale camo is urban? Yeah. See? Exactly. I'm, I'm perfectly camouflaged for this highly densely populated Midwestern town that I'm in right now. I'm unstoppable. Hello? This shut? Um, have we reached an impasse? Already? Thought it'd be much longer before I got stuck like an idiot. He didn't hit her, it's bullshit. You're fucking out of control, Mellow Hero. And Aeromancery. You guys just going back and forth, losing more and more control. Soon y'all gonna get locked up. Can we climb this? No. Maybe we have to go back the way we came. Hopefully they have some fucking nose scratchers. This brother is itchy. No, we, we can't even go back. Somebody's on the other side of that door. Or in here? Control, you never had control. <laughs> Oh, this, this button? No. Fucking hell. What do we do? It must be something, something here. I'm going to waste all my fucking batteries looking around trying to figure out what the fuck to do. And then it's going to be the most obvious thing. Oh. Get on top? I'm not sure what this accomplishes. I guess we want to just like kind of crawl. Yeah, just crawl above. We need to reload the batteries. In the words of the big man, you have fucked up now. Can we get on top of this? No. Now we just want to drop down, I guess, and we're on the other side. Nice. I'm sure everything's going to be great and totally safe, and there's going to be no crazy people. Except for that guy. I feel like we've been in that side of this room before. But also feel like we wouldn't just be going back the way we came. What happens if you beat this in, like, four hours? Uh, same thing that happened when we beat Soma. Old-school, slut-style, rapid-fire, first-person indie horror games. Alright, we got... We got friends over there. I can't resist! Oh god, I'm feeling the need to resist. He's obviously in the middle of preparing supper for guests. Don't fucking rattle the fucking shit so much. All right, we can't. He can't get to us. He can't get to us. Everything's cool. Everything is. Everything's great. Shit. Did he move somewhere? You'll look around the usual places for some good and good ones. He's got a dude's head in the fucking microwave. What a guy. Oh, okay. All right. He's, he has voided the warranty on that microwave at this point. There's no hope for returning that. Not for a full refund, that's for sure. Maybe for a replacement of the product. In the cannibal's kitchen. This guy writes too much. He has He's literally carrying a camera around and yet feels the need to fucking write. Uh, don't ask to see my body, Lisa, when I die. When you finish the lawsuits, let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate hitmen. Don't make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger. A little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. He's making soup regardless. 
that man's head explode? I'm not sure. I genuinely am not sure. I can't, I, I'm not sure. Something violent happened. I think that he like ripped an arm off or something. Because the, it seemed like the head was still in the microwave. It, I, it, it didn't look like, I don't know. I just don't know. I have too many questions, not nearly enough answers and not nearly enough batteries. Yo, someone's, someone's straight up in here right now. We gotta, we gotta relax. Everybody, everybody calm down. Our craziness is getting stronger. All right. Handcuffs? Unlock the handcuffs to open the door. Uh, I guess handcuff key is probably over here then. Whoa. Oh, this fucking R shadow. Look at this, this other stuff here is not casting a shadow. It's really confusing. Is that bone saw perhaps prepared? What are you talking about? Oh! <laughs> bone saw is ready. Oh god. This is gonna happen right now. Oh, it's the fucking... It's the hungry man! Mine. Oh! Mine. Fuck! Jump! Oh, fucking... Just go. Oh, sweet fucking cunt. Oh, God. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> that was terrifying. Where was I supposed to go? Does he have a penis? I can't tell. I can't tell. This part? Oh, dear. <laughs> As soon, like, there was nowhere to hide. God, our fucking flashlight is getting dispersed through the atmospheric effects. We can see nothing. Whew. Oh, fuck everything so hard right now. Mike, when you get partnered, please make that mine. You are my, your sub sound. What the, what the dude just said? Was it really that great? Blow my whistle, baby. Tom Tafar, what is going on? The man, the myth, the legend. You're just in time to see me wet myself. All right, doctor. Doctor? I don't know why I'm calling him doctor. He fucking eats people. Why is that making me think he's a doctor? I guess you gotta know, you gotta know about human anatomy if you're gonna prepare humans for consumption, right? You can't just go biting off whatever you can chew on. It'd be crazy. You like watching men wet themselves? I've got some good news for you, Tom Tafar. Because that is the flavor of the evening. Where the fuck? Alright. Shit. 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 I know you're close. I don't think you do. This is the best hiding spot ever, dude. Oh, oh, oh! It actually was! Oh, God, that was so terrifying. We just fucking... I don't know if you guys can hear about it, but he's fucking... He's jingle jangling his fucking saw. Oh, God, just fuck Outlast, man. That shit is scary. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Oh my god, he's just walking around right next to me. Shh. Don't even breathe. Don't even fucking breathe. Yo, he's so... Oh god! You're right! He's right! He's right! I'm just dead! I'm just dead! Oh, that's it. That's my blood. It's all gone now. Hard mode is pretty fucking hard. <laughs> All right, we got this shit. We're onto this man's moves now. You climb up. I'm coming, Cooper. I just have to lock the. There. Come in. Hold on. Your blood is supposed to stay inside your body, Mike. Well, I mean, you can't make everything happen perfectly on the first try. Fuck. I don't want to run all the way back to the beginning. 
All right, he's going, he's going. Please go into that room. Yes, this is what we needed. I'm just making a run for it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh. Oh, yes. This is fucking progress. Nah, he's wearing pants. No penis. Not today. I shut that shit behind us. Then again, that may have drawn attention. Can we hide under the bed? I'm deeply concerned that he's about to come in here. <sighs> His eyes glow. That's a little unsettling. Only when I shine the light on it, right? That's just like everybody's eyes glow in infrared. Also, world's ugliest tile. I guess you shouldn't expect much from an insane asylum run by an evil government corporation, but... It's whatever. Time fight zone hype. <laughs> just spamming about our game in chat, Travis. All right, I don't think he's coming in here. I think we're actually fucking random ass fucking music scaring the shit out of me. We're about to run out of fucking batteries again. We need to find batteries. I think the nightmare setting makes it so there's less batteries. I can't remember. I was thinking that earlier. I can't remember if I said it out loud, but I'm pretty sure that's a thing. How are you doing anyways, Mike? All good in the hood. Actually, I was saying earlier, it was kind of a stressful day in the hood. Fucking Doxy had some crazy shit I had to help her with. Uh, my computer literally exploded and I had to go out and buy uh, some new parts for it and basically rebuild the whole damn thing. Yo, where the fuck? Yo, oh, no! Not cool! Not cool! I stuck in there! I stuck in there! Bye. Cool! Go cool, under the bed! Oh god. We did it. He's gonna get through, but I don't think he's gonna find out. Hey, Doxy! Replace the batteries. Replace the fucking batteries. Oh, we have zero out of two potential batteries. We have no battery, dude. I thought we had two. I don't know why I thought zero slash two meant we had two. So we can only carry two batteries at a time. Take yourself from me. So and we have none. Which is fucking scary considering this place is very fucking dark and this man is very fucking murdering us. Oh, God. Yeah, we we can see, I guess, a little bit better when we turn on the flashlight, even without batteries. But that's 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 is it's pushing it. It's not really that much better. I can't even tell if he's in the room right now. All right, he just opened a door. I don't know, dude. I don't know what to do. We need batteries. We can't do this without batteries. We might just be fucked. I, choosing insane mode may have been a mistake. Or nightmare mode. Whatever fucking hard-ass difficulty I chose may have been a mistake. It's literally better than nothing, but not by much. Alright, I'll leave it on. I will leave it on. Yeah, we can see that wall with the light on. So it's certainly an improvement. Hopefully he doesn't patrol this area. He seems to, to be much more interested in down the hall. I guess now that he knows we're over here, though, he's going to be more interested in over here. God damn, this is fucking terrifying. Dude, at any moment, we could just fucking bump into him. And I'm not okay with that music. Oh! <gasps> Oh, God! Run! I can't see! I can't see, but I'm running! Where's the door? Where's the door? Oh, we found the fucking door! Nailed it! Unstoppable Mike Malbec successfully finds door in room. Full story at 11. Oh, we we just lost all our fucking progress, though. He's still coming! He's still coming! He's still coming! Oh, my legs! Oh... Oh, God. Damn. Yo, we are so fucked. What are we supposed to do? 
Is there flat? Maybe we can find a battery if we backtrack a little? We never went- there was- there was some areas that we didn't go into. We didn't fully explore. Shit, is this leading to the area with the man? Yo, we're about to fucking walk into somebody. About to straight up walk into somebody. My heart can't take this. <gasps> Yo. Oh, I was so scared that that was just gonna like light up the room and then dudes were gonna be like, hey! All right, one battery. One battery. That's all we need. We can, we can complete this section with one battery. And this is exactly what Soma was missing. These intense moments that are created by even the simplest fucking resource management system. Like if fucking, if this was Soma and we had our infinite flashlight and shit, that would have been fine. We would have been able to see shit, but we had to walk around and fumble around desperate for a fucking battery. And that was never, that was never a thing in Soma, not even a little bit. Why can't he just follow you through that hole? He's, you think he can climb this shit? Crazy people are terrified of sharp objects. Unless they're holding them. In which case, they fucking love them. Dude, that dude will spin that buzzsaw all fucking day. Alright, where the fuck is he? So the area is a little bit more... We might be fucked. We might be actually, like, straight up dead. No, 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 Yep, we're dead. Maybe he's just, maybe just throwing us around a little bit. Okay, this is okay. This is okay. I think we're good. I think we're doing really good. Oh, God. This door still works, right? Whoa, we're on the wrong side of it! Oh, fucking hell, we should be so dead right now. I can't believe we just locked ourselves out of that room. That was so bad. All right, back to the beginning again. <laughs> oh, God, please climb. That was, that was something else. Ooh. Ooh. That was something. That was fucking something. I, I can't believe I, I... We would have been so... I guess who's sleeping with the lights tonight? <laughs> you, Fap Fap? Dude, we were so fucking there. We were so there. We If we had gotten on the right side of that door, everything would be sunshine and fucking roses. Oh, man. That's like a quarter of our battery, though. We have to be careful. We can't fuck this up too many times. I have to stay calm. Which is not my forte. My forte is screaming and running away. Which has proved to be a solid strategy in the past. He's gonna come around that corner any second, isn't he? Oh god, he could be in that room, though, too. Don't they stop? I'm just gonna walk. This is stupid. There's no arguing that. But, I mean, we gotta go somewhere, right? And walking's faster than crawling. He could be- he can't be on the other side of this, he would've left the door open. Feed me! Feed, me. Fe feed you? No! Feed me. We not feed! feed me. Not today! Crawl, 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 crawl. Oh god. Can't waste too much flashlight. Ooh, why is this guy making soup with a buzzsaw? It's more like a stew then. Oh god, he totally nailed us. Oh god, he's checking the beds! Guys, he's checking the fucking beds. He's leveled up. He's fucking evolving into fucking Charizard. Oh my god, he's checking them all! I thought he was just gonna check one to fuck with us. I don't- I don't know what the plan is here. Oh. Yo, thank fucking Yahweh. That was close. He's just waiting in that other room. Okay, now we have to make our move now. He's he's walking away. Hopefully he's not just circling these two rooms and he's going to go down the hall. 
Yo, fuck this shit so hard. Feed me Seymour. This camera has a massive amount of storage space. Yeah, it's got some fucking... It's got some staying power. Where are the keys? The keys have to be in this room. This is the final room. Oh, this is just hiding. Fuck. I don't want to hide. Well, I mean, probably will in the very near future, but not right now. Where are the fucking keys? This is, this is like the logical conclusion of... Oh my god, my, just, my dog just fucking barks and it straight up made me wet myself. Oh, we're running out of batteries. Maybe the keys were in the room over here. Maybe we just missed them. Battery! No, just a light on the ground. He's getting close. I'm pretty sure that music plays when he gets close. Fuck, we need to find? This is so hard. We're about to run out of batteries. We're about to run out of batteries. And I don't know if you've noticed, but we're also about to run out of fucking batteries. We need to move this way. Right the fuck now. I got stuck on the door. Okay. Everything's okay. There's just nothing down here. Oh, fuck. We're out of batteries again. And we found no keys. Not even a little bit of keys. Oh, my fucking God. What? Do we have a note or something? Cannibal's Kitchen fucking... I'm lost. Like... Shit, man. We must have just missed it at some point, but I checked everywhere that made sense. Unless he has the keys and we have to kill him or something, but... There's literally no way. We need to find another battery. Oh, fuck. Shit, dude. We messed up. We have messed up. Fucking Aromancery and Mellow Hero just having a bromance in the chat. Keeping things alive. Mike, your first mistake was stopping at places that made sense. <laughs> I gotta stop somewhere. So there's a side there was a side path a little while ago that we we skipped. I think. Yep, you fucked it. Cafeteria. That might be it for the batteries that we can access right now. Which is fucking scary. We may just die. Which I would not like. Good thing we didn't choose fucking uh, permadeath mode. Because then we, we would have just sat through the fucking beginning credits like three times at this point. Uh, actually, Mike, your first mistake was attempting to expose the evil machine. <laughs> uh, machinations of a company with no morals. That's fair enough. Item placements is about 70% sensical. Yeah, that sounds about right. Which is, I mean, in the world, it makes sense. There's crazy people all over the place. So you can't count on everything to be in its right place. So let's go through this step by step logically, right? We need to open this. Going back, we can't. We basically can't backtrack. And the only reason they would put this area here is if you got to do this in order to open this. So we we know we have to do this right now. We're not missing anything else. And it makes sense that you would. Are you kidding me right now? Right away? What's the point? Why can you even get mad when I'm this close to the fucking door? But anyway, it makes sense for the item to be at the very end of the area because if it was in the beginning of the area, then we could just fucking, like, kind of stick our tip in and then pull right back out. That wouldn't make any sense. Not really a complaint from a de design standpoint so much as it is from a convenience standpoint. That's fair enough. That is certainly fair enough. So we're here basically blind. Pretty fucking, pretty fucking scary. I think we can actually see worse in this room with the light on. So I'm gonna check this room again. This room certainly got the most cursory look over. And it's also the easiest to run away from. 
So we might as well look around for some keys. Maybe we can find a battery in here. That would certainly uh, moisten my panties. I'm deeply concerned about this dude. The fucking this room being made of windows makes it feel not so safe as some of the other rooms. Oh. Feed me. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we making it, we making it. Shit, I thought this was a different room. I just want to go under the bed. I just want to relax for a second. Oh. Uh, this is the room that also most follows the key item placement meta for Outlast, you think? Also, what's going on, Stefani? You think that the room with the, the fucking windows is where we're going to find the uh, the key? I feel like back here, not necessarily this room, I think the room on the other side of the broken glass, that has to be where it is. Like, logically, even like Outlast logically, I feel like that's it. You ready for spooks? I'm glad one of us is ready, because I'm not. Fucking hell. He's in here. He's checking beds right now. He's checking beds, dude. I just saw his shadow over there. Oh, I, I can't tell if he's in the room or not. Might end up falling asleep to Spooter screaming at a horror game. European PlayStation announcement stream, announcement stream tomorrow. You want to be up early. All right. Fair enough. You feel like the window room either has some good shit in it or is the room you need. That's what I'm saying. There was no batteries in there, at least that we found. Like, there has to be something in there. We haven't found batteries in there, and we haven't found the item we need in there. So that room is, it's, it's certainly a prime suspect. There's no way he's still here. I'm busting out. I'm busting out right the fuck now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fucking bump into him. I'm gonna literally like physically bump my body into his body on accident. Because that's how far I can fucking see. Oh shit fuck! Oh god, we're so dead. I can't see the doors. Oh, we nailed it. We nailed it. Please bang the door. Please bang the door. I can't see. We have to find it right now. It's now or never. Hi! Hi! Oh, he totally saw us go in here! Hi! Hi. Oh, we made it out! <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Uh. We need to be able to get in there, I think, maybe. Keys. I can't see. My hair's in my eyes. But I can't stop. Keys. Keys. You want some of this shit, brother? I'm done hiding. I'm going on the offensive. Mine. Yeah. Fucking chase me. I'm playing this game. If you're chasing me, I know where you are. And then you're not scary anymore. This is bad. I regret my decision. Keys. 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 Okay. I've decided to hide again. But I'm ready to fucking run. No, you can't! I shower! Fuck off! That was the middle finger. That was the middle finger. I don't think it showed up on cam. Yo. Yo. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. You will find another way. Woo. <laughs> Maybe there are battery batteries in there on lower difficulties. Yeah, that might be it. We're certainly going to have to deal with uh, very obvious battery spots containing no batteries because of the difficulty. I feel like this, like, right... Oh, we climb into that vent! And then we get into that room that I said we needed to get into. Okay, we did it. We did it, Reddit. 
You fucking climb. Oh, yes. Yes. And he can't even fucking get to us. And there's fucking batteries. Yo. Oh, God. He's not mad. I'm not scared. Okay. So he's just, he's just going to hang out, right? Yeah, he's not going to hurt us. Okay. Yeah, I'm your friend. Yes. Oh, he's going to try and scratch us. We're not itchy. Keys. Okay, I feel like once this guy exhausts his dialogue, he might become hostile. So, uh... I want to find some potential... Hello. Oh, he's just looping his dialogue, so he's totally cool. Yeah, we're like best friends right now. I like how he shut the door behind me. Or behind him, just like I did. He's just not like... He's our mini-me. He wants to be like us. He wants to walk like me, talk like me. Oh, two, we have two fucking batteries right now. I guess we have one in the in the thing, and we have one backup. So we could even we could we could carry another one potentially. This is the best. This is the best day ever. Get away from him? No, no, we're friends, man. We're friends. Why the hell would it have to be the vent? I should have known. Like there was so much light there. I thought that the light was just there to make it scary to like be in that part of the like area. But it was just fucking. Like, light to draw me through that. Um, oh, that's, that's some words. Uh, <laughs> this is a request for a specific legal consultation in the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Cho against Murkoff Charity Psychiatric in Psy Psychiatry Incorporated, originally filed in 2010. At the time of Ms. Cho's termination, the psychosomatic effects of the morphogenic engine on female employees and patients had been well established. Already more than seven females employees and patients had reached fictitious half-term pre-pregnancy <laughs> in a matter of weeks before miscarrying the non-existent children, five of them fatally. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings, and eventually entirely off of Mount Massive facility. Oh, yeah. Mount Massive, like the mountain that they build the built the insane asylum on. Like, that's that, like, has some sort of, like, Indian power or something. I can't remember, but it has to. Mount Massive is like an is essential. They couldn't have put this place anywhere else. Uh, the critical secrecy of Project Wall Rider necessitated necessitated secrecy in the motivating factor for the reassignments and terminations, resulting in perceived injustice from several terminated parties. Miss Cho has succeeded in acquiring a court-ordered FOIA release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post-dated, providing. That word, information, while skirting the relevant secrecies of the project, please advise. All right. I struggled a lot with that one, but I'm proud of it. Is our best friend? He's gone. I want to use our best friend to draw away the cannibal. I feel like that would be some solid advice. Yeah, we're back in cannibal town. Go! It's time to go. It's time to go. Regan Nancy's. You know, the word looks so foreign at a glance. It's a I think it's the font. The font the font gets into my head. So uh handcuff hype? Yeah boy. I'm fucking proud of that shit. Alright, we got some doors. We got some noises. Dude, this game is fucking keeping the heat on like a motherfucker. It's pretty much always something happening. There's no just kind of wandering around. Always avoiding enemies, always dealing with new fucking characters being introduced and shit. So this mountain fucks women? What? What? The, the mountain makes women think that they're pregnant. Like, a, a side effect of the... Like, the mountain makes people crazy. Like, the morphogenic engine that they use the mountain to create. Oh, okay! I'm sorry. Is the cannibal? Is this the cannibal? No way. Best friend! Where's our best friend? Where the fuck is he? Alex! Alex! You stay there. Okay. 
cook. No. <laughs> no. Um. Oh God, we can get out. We can get out. I can just bust it down. Hulk smash. Oh, thanks, sweet cunt. I think it's time to go. I was looking forward to exploring this area, but I think we can go. Shit. Shit. We may have just cornered ourselves. I'm looking for vents this time. Not going to be fooled twice. Is he even still actually here? Oh, no, he's, he's, he's on the other side, so he can't get to us, maybe. Will that hurt? No. Fucking hell. And now we're being cremated. We avoided it. Also, he certainly wouldn't have cremated us. He didn't want us to turn to ash. He wanted to cook us for delicious, delicious snack time. All right, if there's no batteries in here, this was kind of a huge waste of batteries to get in. And it's looking that way. Batteries are a little small and hard to see, but I'm pretty sure there was none. That sucks. Uh, nope, can't open that. 100% of my nope was that crematorium. I wasn't, I wasn't thoroughly enjoying it either. It's a little bit, a little bit scary. Ah, nice, nice well-lit little chapel thing. I'm not going to that exit door. That exit door is obviously a trap. Trying to lure me away from this delicious reading that I've been meaning to do. What the fuck? Uh, tch, tch. documents? God and family. These long ass fucking documents. Father Clark, far be it from me to lie to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients, and if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know, and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or similar calming procedure. Don't underestimate the contribution of your sermons off the contribution your sermons offer our patients, especially considering the depth and necessarily chaotic nature of hypotherapy. Our patients need to be need the bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have families to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. DBNR, Dr. Newhouse, Mad Doctor, May 20th, 1961. Doesn't pork cause cancer now? What? Also, see you later, Fap Fap. You should, uh, you should go get some sleep. We're getting a little low on batteries. Our next battery will be our last. Yeah, of course. Of fucking course. But where else is there to go? Is the question. Hmm. Back? I don't think back. Yeah, these these doors we just can't, we can't even try to open them. Oh, they're, they're chained. Oh. Somebody's very mad. Just let me enjoy your bacon. <laughs> I don't know, man. If, if if pork was linked to cancer, I think I might have to give up bacon. I don't think I like pork that much. But I'm not sure that I'd buy that it was linked to cancer. Then again, I'm not even a doctor a little bit. There must be something up here. What the fuck? Is this just a ladder for funsies so we can see this body? Also, is this our friend? Was this our best friend? Dude, this is totally our best friend. He got murdered and put on the roof. Bullshit. Oh, hey. <laughs> there you go. Dude, this game is making me look up a lot more than I expected it to make me look up. The verticality is deeply surprising. The hardest puzzles in this game is the fact that you can fucking move your mouse on the Y axis. Uh, can we shimmy? Shimmy shimmy ya, shimmy shimmy ya. You've never had any pork and never will have any pork. What? For, like, religious reasons? And it's the only thing that I can think of. The only plausible reason. Also, was that a ghost or steam? I was busy reading chat. Uh, 
jump. We got a little little door over there. Got a bunch of stuff that we uh, can't interact with over here. And we're dropping down. And we're saving. That's nice. That, that feels like progress. Ah, oh, battery. Fucking chained up battery. What shenanigans? All right, those are just things that we can hide in. Religious reasons, that's fair enough. That's fair enough, Aramantry. Hmm. Probably dark way first. Like I was saying, light way first. Oh god, the noises didn't stop. They got more horrifying, if anything. Oh god, it's fucking him. It's our fucking nemesis again. I'm not mentally prepared. Shit, dude. Locked. Uh, is the peacock is the peacock logo in the bottom right new? It is new last stream. Also, it is a uh, it is a middle finger instead of a peacock because it's SNL. So fuck you. Okay. So we definitely want to go down to the dark dark hallway first. This is definitely the way. There's definitely some motherfuckers hanging out and doing shit. That way. Which means that there must be batteries over here. I'm really crossing my fingers because we spent a battery to get here. Yeah. Alright, so that's 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 good. That puts us in a slightly better position. Oh, that's the battery from there. Nice. Until you realize Spooter's playing on hard mode and will not beat this in six hours because of that. You think it's gonna take me that much longer? Because of hard mode. We haven't had too much trouble yet. We, I guess we haven't spending. We've been playing a lot more deliberately than we may be otherwise. Like we're, we're being very careful to look around and shit, and probably dying more often. Though I will say, I fucking nailed that cannibal section. Once I kept my cool, I nailed it. I know you're close. Oh come on! I wasn't even ready. Yeah, what are you gonna fucking do? You can't break this door. Yeah, you can. Shit, we're, we just cornered ourselves. Oh, no, we didn't. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Woo. Woo-hoo. Why does a story-driven horror game even have a hard mode? Dude, fucking more story-driven horror games need a hard mode. Hard mode. Like, a mode that makes the enemies do more damage and makes resources more scarce. It makes the game so much more fun. I remember playing the original, the, uh, the Penumbra trilogy on the hardest difficulty. It was so fun because I mean, one of the greatest complaints people had about uh, the first Penumbra game is that you could just kill all the enemies because you had, you had basic weapons that were really hard to use, but on the easier difficulties, you could just chug healing resources and fucking beat the shit out of the enemies. But on the hardest difficulties, like fucking two hits from an enemy would just be you dead and there was no way to get enough hits off to kill a, a dog or a fucking alien in that amount of time. Outlast hard mode is fucking sweet. Making the batteries more rare makes the game a lot scarier and more exciting. Different levels of enemy AI for people who want more of a challenge. I don't think that it changes the AI uh, in Outlast, but that would be fucking cool. Like, if it made them smarter, it might, I, I wouldn't be surprised if in Outlast it made them more likely to uh, search more things. Like, when they come into a room with closets... They, on harder difficulties, they might search, like, two or three closets instead of just one. Come on. Everybody relax. Is that him? No. Shit, where the fuck is he? I'm starting to get really worried that he's behind us. Which would be bad, mostly because he would force us to run away into a place that we haven't been before. And that is almost certain death. We just end up cornering ourselves because we wouldn't know where to go. Alright. This room doesn't have a door. That kind of sucks. Also, I think we already searched this room. That's a waste of resources. Oh no, this is, this is where we encountered him the first time. Right here. Hello, skeleton. 
You're looking mighty stiff today. God, our fucking batteries are low already. This guy should just get one of those batteryless flashlights that are powered with body heat. Fucking... The utility of this light is that uh, the enemies can't see it since it's an infrared, like, camera light. Like, we can shine it even when we're running away from enemies and hiding and shit, and they won't, like, see it and use that to find us. <sighs> Fuck! Fuck! I so nearly fucking got out of there. I, like, I saw him peeking through the fucking door, and I was like, okay, we need to move. And then he was like, I already saw you, mate. Oh! Fuck! Dude just fucking juked us! Alright, I said I wouldn't do this, but we're running away into progress. We may get cornered, but I just want to go. We don't have a puzzle right now, so there's nothing that we want to go back for. Oh, God. Shit. Can we climb this? Oh, shit me through! You can't do this. You can't do this. Oh, fucking hell. Whew. The enemies can only see the glowing green rectangle. Yeah, I guess it would, it would like, the, the camera's, like, uh, viewfinder would light up. But then again, I think we're, I think the idea is that we're, like, oh, no, we're totally using the viewfinder. I thought we might be using one of those, like, ones that you hold up right to your eye. But it's just a normal-ass viewfinder. <laughs> you can't, Jimmy. Go and eat your soup. <laughs> I can't resist. <laughs> you just go about your business, fella. I'm not here to interrupt anything. Oh God, this game is fucking stressful. This game is this is one of those horror games that has that awesome quality of being hard to play for an extended period of time because it just puts you so on edge. It is so intense, like, the whole time. It just fucking, it just wears you down. This camera has a really high definition screen. It's only, like, 1080p. That's not ridiculously high. One thing that I really like, speaking of, like, uh, resolution, is that the, uh, the zoom is, like, a digital zoom as opposed to an optical zoom. So it gets, like, really, like, blurry-ish and pixelated when you get super close to stuff. It might not... I don't know how to shut it off. I cannot do. I think, well, you're fucked, but I'll shut it off for me. Thanks. Also, we totally got a note. And I feel like I was in the middle of a sentence, but I forgot. Bot count three. Dude, fucking, we got like one bot the other day when I was doing, last Bloodborne stream, that like the 10 hour fucking Bloodborne stream, we got one bot the whole time. And we're ready up to fucking three. I wonder if it, it's based on what game you're playing, whether or not you get bots. Uh, what was it, a note that we got? Yeah. Was that varying effects, did it say? Yeah, varying effects. Lisa, or whoever finds this, know that Murkoff is making monsters. I'd never seen the patients after they'd gone through that German's so-called therapy. The engine, so much worse than I could have imagined. Uh, they may still be human, but something's been ripped out of them, and to many, and too many, other things were put back in. They were not all murderers. They were sick, but they didn't. They weren't killers. Murkoff made the monsters. Dr. Rosette said that the engine had varying effects. The variant outcomes too erratic for any sort of prediction. I took it as idle cafeteria small talk. Ra Raul's endless chatter. I should have listened. Yeah, I'm falling asleep. Sorry you won't be here to help with bots, but bye. That's fine. We should probably... I should probably mod somebody else then. Hold on here a second. I think we may be in a modless chat. I must remedy this. Mellow Hero, your time has finally come. How do I mod you? Permanent ban? That's probably not it. Hey, moderator. It has happened. Now, Mellow Hero would be contributing to the mod wall, but I must do what must be done. Mod him already? I did! I did! Oh, come on. I'm sorry, a romancery. I'm sorry. It was a toss-up. I, I I had to pick only one of you. <laughs> I can't mod both of you because then fucking the entire chat will just be mods. And I don't want that. Really? <laughs> Soon, Aeromancery. 
Your time will come soon. All right, fucking, we're a little bit lost here. I kind of got a little distracted with all the modding and all the monsters. Your time will come eventually. You, the the waiting makes the reward all the more sweet. Also, it's getting a little hot. I'm gonna take off this uh, this hoodie. As fly as I look, it is far too hot. Insert sexy music. Also, what's going on, Rogue Wolf 1997, arriving just in time for me to take off my shirt. Now you guys can see my fucking spaghetti-ass little arms. The illusion that I was muscular and sexy is now ruined. Mike Malbec confirmed for stripping on stream. It was... I wouldn't be surprised if I uh, moistened some panties out there. Uh, we got a document, right? Lesser known ecological aspects of humanity. Dude, there's going to be so many big words in this fucking note. <sighs> Influencing human behavior. The potential use of psychochemicals, nailed that one on the first try, in political action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as it as might be expected. Chemical division includes it as an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make such operations possible. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are also included in the program. Noach, noach, note, presence of the... Present the above McCultra excerpt to Technical Services Division for budgeting and authorization of continued research. Consider research into the research of Dr. Rudolph Wernicke and Project Wallrider. Autopsy of recovered test subject shows chemical content of bodies, metallic tumors, evidence of subdermal combustion that indicates heavy psychochemical dosage. Subdermal combustion. Is that why these guys look all like burnt and bloated? Is they're literally explosions or fires happening under their skin or some shit. You're pretty dandy trying to figure out dinner without leaving the stream for more than two minutes. You may just make a sandwich. Man, I've been craving a sandwich. My uh, my lunch meat is starting to get a little bit dated. It's been like a week since I went to the grocery store, so I'm getting concerned about it. But uh, I should probably just eat it anyway, right? What's the worst that could happen? So, uh, somebody's totally fucking banging on this shit. Oh, it's just our friend! <laughs> that was scary, and, and then it wasn't. You can leave for a while. I'm sure Mike can find another mod somewhere. Yeah, Rogue Wolf just got here. I can mod him. I don't know what these lights mean. This dude just walking back and forth, banging. Oh, banging his head on doors. That's pretty cool. Subdermal combustion, so basically fools be catching fire underneath their skin. That does not sound comfortable. Actually, sounds pretty uncomfortable. Like the opposite of comfortable. Can we open this door too? No, that one's locked. You can bang your head on that one forever, buddy. These guys are making husks, more or less. Alright, probably gonna have to get in there at some point. We can't push this, even though it's totally on wheels. Who cares if the wheels are melted into the floor a little bit? These, this wheel looks pretty good. That's like three quarters of a wheel. Apparently these wheels were chiseled out of stone or some shit, though. Hey, it's CKD. You've been silently, silently modding for a little while. Ba band... Band to two bots, we good. Man, if only I had known, Mellow Hero would still be swordless. What's this? It looks like a button. Oh. Oh, no, 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 we're not hiding. What are we supposed to hide from? What, what's, what is scary right now? Oh, those are probably just like nurse call buttons, right? Like they, they feel like they're going a little bit too crazy, so they call the nurse. We've got a bit of a battery situation developing. I've been silently, silently concerned about it. I suppose it's time to say it out loud. I'm Mike, and I have a battery situation. Hi, Mike. This looks like into the vent we go. Where we'll stop, nobody knows? There's two directions in this vent. All right, that way seems dead-end-ish. This way we shall go. Since CKD is here, it's sandwich time. You won't be long. All right, Mellow Hero. Don't get lost. His battery situation is fucking critical. Also, did we just end up right back where we started? 
What? What? What the fuck? This did nothing. We just crawled between two rooms that we already had access to. Can we crawl up? Can we jump up the other side? We can't get through that. What? We're about to be out of batteries and out of options. What even is our objective right now? Find the mate. Oh yeah, we gotta find the valve and shut off the things. Oh! The lights. The lights in that other room. One of them. Okay. I'm about to solve some puzzles. It's about to be fucking crazy. You ready for this shit? I don't think you're ready. Everybody sit down. Prepare thine minds. No. No one's no one's mad. Why scary music? Okay. 237. Who the fuck is This guy isn't scary. Why scary music? Oh god, we can't see shit. What the fuck? Maybe it thinks that we triggered the cannibal? 237. Dinner bells. Fucking no. We have no fucking light. Dude, we're so fucked. We might actually die here. I don't, I don't see any way around it. Please tell me we can hide under this bed. We can't even hide under this bed. Go, 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 go. Oh, God. I will not. I will not. I will. I said no. Okay, we shut this door. This is the this is the room. I had a light on. Fuck, fuck. Buttons? Do the buttons do stuff? Oh god. Uh, oh, was there two dudes in there? <sighs> this doesn't seem like the place to have a nurse call button. You don't think? I feel like definitely the crazy people might need help sometimes. Okay, we have a little battery left this time. Ah. Shit. Shit. Oh! We want to go this way. Yes! No! Fuck. Oh well, oh well. At least he can't get to us. I'm gonna give him a minute to look around. Then we'll drop back down. There's, there's beds down there, so we shouldn't make too much noise unless they're really squeaky. He stopped banging. He didn't even open the door. Is the door broken now? The door, he, he broke the door and locked us in. All right, so we can get out though. We just gotta go through here. Oh god, what if he's waiting? What if he's really smart and he locked us in because he knew that we would have to use this vent? Also, that's it for our fucking fucking light. That is rough. Back to fucking square one. They're lighting. Oh god, it's so dark. Oh god. Ah, I was shot that then. Please tell me there's a vent in here that we get to. Wait, where can we hide? Ah, oh, sweet. He doesn't seem to be trying to get in. This this game is playing scary music when the scary music may not be warranted. I can't see the door to Sounds like he might have just banged. I can't see the door to see if he's hitting it. There's banging noises in the fucking music. Just making things a little bit difficult to uh Parse mentally. Okay, he didn't even try to break in. Right, this vent is just intact. We can't get up into there. I'm scared to open the door because of the music. Oh, God, we could just fucking bump into him. 
No dinner bells! Okay, we need to fucking do it right now. Whatever is in this room... There's nothing! There's nothing in this room! This room is a lie! Goodbye! I'll be back later. Pinky promise. Bro, 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 don't fuck me like this! Bro! Shut it. Oh, fuck. Please. There's nowhere out. There's no way out of this fucking room! Like banging noises of the music are called drums. Ah, but you are called a drum. Go, go, go! Go! Ah! 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 It got me. Yo, I tweeted Ritz the other day. I was like, yo, at Ritz Crackers, you got some good shit, but I got some undersalted bullshit in this latest box. And they're like, yo, DM us the UPC code and we'll make this right. <laughs> and I feel, I don't want to say anything back. Like, I wasn't actually mad. It was just supposed to be a joke. But they're really concerned about it. They like, they want to, they want to research it. So, some fucking factory worker is going to get fired over my unsalted crackers. And I can't have that. Fuck off. Oh! Oh, shut it! Shut it! Shut it! Did I shut it? No. No, I did not! Fuck! Ah. You return! Your sandwich has been crafted! What kind of sandwich you get, Mellow Hero? I want to know all about the sandwich. You know me! Very, very interested in sandwiches. And like a creep, a creepy amount. Alright, we just gotta immediately go into this room. Oh no, not this room. Not this room! We're dead, we're dead. Yeah, fuck! I'm Russian. I gotta relax. I gotta relax is the thing. I can smell you. You don't smell. I know you're close. Climb! Ah, my legs! Oh, got it. It makes my legs tingle every single time I'm trying to climb into a vent to get away from that dude. It's like I, I can just feel him hitting them as I'm trying to climb in. Spinach, salami, and cheddar with sriracha and Thousand Island dressing on toasted rye. Ah. Oh, man. I need to fucking excuse myself for a minute as I pleasure my body to the thought of that sandwich. Why did I leave my light on for that time? Fucking... I just killed our light for no reason. I'm a fucking light murderer. Mindless light murderer. Dude, this is too dark. So fucking the light room doesn't even do anything. There is nothing in the light room. Please tell me he's behind us and not, like, in our path. Alright, this is... Fuck. The light room must be it. <laughs> Fucking hell. How many times are we going to go in the light room and then just get killed anyway? <laughs> Because we, anytime we get to the fucking light room, it's already fucking so fucking dark. I can't even see the door. Hello, I saw that. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Go, go. You've decided that if you go to a PAX that I go to, you're getting a hotel room with a kitchenette. So we can have a sandwich off. You don't see me. Go, go. Go, 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 go. You still don't see me. Shit, fuck. Please don't come in. Oh, turn off the light. Fine. Hide. Okay. You just have Cocoa Puffs? Yo, I could go for some fucking Cocoa Puffs. So you can make me food and also sandwich off. <laughs> Man, it's been too long since I've made it to a PAX. It's been like over a year, I think. No, I made it to I made it to last PAX East. So it hasn't been quite a year. I gotta I gotta get me to one of them. PAX is a good fucking time. I definitely think that there's maybe too many too many PAXs. I don't think I I don't think I feel the need to go to every single one. But I can smell fuck you. off! 
I can smell you. You're the crazy one. Hide, 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 hide. I know you're close. Oh, fucking hell. And I can get to start checking beds now. Or maybe not. Tricked ya. <laughs> oh, we totally did it. We totally fucking fooled him. We made a chump out of him. All right, I don't know why I keep going into this room. I know it's wrong, but this time we have flashlight. We can look around a little bit. Yes, I knew there was a vent in here that we could use. Yes! Fucking yes! Uh, yeah, they definitely have... We need to make use of stuff. Right now! We're just going. We're just going. Fuck. We're in the bathroom. Oh, but sweet, there's a, a, a narrow corridor. They can't follow me through there. Uh, yeah, they definitely have more. Have them more for the purpose of multiple groups of people uh, having a convenient packs than for everyone to go to all of them. Yeah, most of the people that I know go to all of them, though. So it's it was like my presumed strat was to just go to all of them. And then I went to all of them for like two years. And I was like, yo, feels like as soon as I get from ba back from PAX, fucking PAX is happening. By the time I, uh, I overcome the PAX pox, I'm reinfected. By the way, literally the sickest that I've ever been in my adult life was after a PAX. Like that? I thought I was gonna die, dude. It's not fun. Actually, both times in my adult life that I have gotten sick have been after a PAX. I don't get sick very often. But it's hard to avoid the PAX box. I don't get sick every PAX. When I do, I just want to die. It's gotta be some batteries in one of these rooms. I don't want to hide. There's nobody here. That's very bright. The pacing in this game is real fucking good. Like, right when I'm starting to think, like, nah, I can't handle any more of this stressful ass shit, then it gives me a nice, like, well lit, just looking around section. And then it fucking jump scares you! Oh my god! <laughs> I said the jump scare would happen as it happened. That's how well this game is paced. Is that it's so fucking, it's so much like clockwork that I can fucking call it within seconds of it happening. You've heard hella Pax Pox horror stories? It's so bad, it's, and it's not even always the same thing. Like, it's called the Pax Pox. You'd think it'd be like one defined illness. Like, one time I went to Pax, I got a sore throat. Like, I got a headache so bad that I couldn't even open my eyes for straight up three days. Like, I just like listened to audiobooks and stuff with like a blindfold on because I just couldn't stand to be alive. And uh, I was also like, I had a really sore throat to the point where like swallowing saliva hurt. It was awful. And that and it lasted for like two and a half weeks. Like it started to get better after like a week, but there was residual effects for a long time and it was not comfortable. And then the packs after that, or maybe it was a couple packs later, but the next time I got packs box, it was like fucking violent fucking nausea and like dizziness and just like high fever and just that kind of awfulness. It's the worst. Doxy actually was in the hospital because of that packs box. She, uh, she refused to drink water because she was so nauseous she didn't even want to drink water. And then she got really dehydrated and almost fucking died. Also, what's going on? Frank Yaj. Frank J. Frank J. You've arrived just in time to see me struggle to read. Project Wall Rider patient status report for Frank. Hey, speaking of Frank, Monera. Patient Frank Antonio Monera. Uh, yada yada yada. Therapy status. Minimal morphogenic engine activity and only at extreme stages five and six levels of hormone therapy. Dream state, dream states, return repeatedly to images of isolation and betrayal. Zero lucid state. Uh, diagnostics: heavy bronchial bronchial <laughs> accumulation consistent with patients with histories of tobacco and marijuana. Exceptionally low REM activity. Interview notes: at this time, at the time of this interview. Frank was down to 155 pounds. That is heavier than I am. Uh, from his admission weight of 228. Well, that'll do it. He was lethargic and largely non-responsive, exhibiting interest only in the hypnotherapy script pattern 9 Wernicke concerning drinking blood from the chest of sleeping men. He continues to refuse baths or attention of a barber outside of the general anesthesia, stating, if I cannot partake, I cannot share. 
Recommend forced nutrition for Mr. Monera if we cannot find something he likes to eat. That's the cannibal dude that we've been dealing with. You look just like my cousin. Maybe I am your cousin. You never know. You never know. I don't have any cousins named Frank, though. So if your actual name is Frank, then you're out of luck. So yeah, that was the fucking the bio of the uh, the cannibal dude. I'm almost certain. Certain. I don't think there was anything back this way, right? My man, Spoo Man, Mr. Golden Hands. Always showing up just in the nick of time. Oh, speaking of just in the nick of time, a fucking battery. I thought we searched this whole area. Could have sworn that we were being thorough on our way in here. All right, well that now we've been thorough. Now I'm now I'm confident. Your name's Aiden. I also definitely don't have any cousins named Aiden. Why is your fucking Twitch handle Frank Gaia? If your name is Aiden, that's kind of weird. No judgment. No judgment. Well, a little judgment. A little, little bit. Hello. This is my place. Okay. How am I gonna get you killed? Have you been seeing me fucking juking the shit out of cannibals and shit? All right, we we can turn off. We can turn things off here, right? This is the land of turning off. Gas room. Yes. Hmm. That's a little concerning. What's up, fellow sluts? Good to see you all. I am currently getting the shit scared out of me. Presumably everybody else. Substantially less scared. Oh my god, are you kidding me with this cannibal bullshit? I am done, cannibal man. I've read your bio. It's time for you to meet your untimely end. Well, I mean, we can't kill him. I'm pretty sure we can't kill him. We almost certainly. Fucking hell, dude. This man won't stop. I hate him. This is fucking terrifying. What's with the name Spooter W? Ugh. Such a long story. The short version is that me and my friends all nicknamed each other when we were in, uh, like, middle school. And at the time, I collected mine! spiders because my parents mine! gave me, like, an ant habitat for my birthday one year. And I was like, ants are fucking lame. And our basement has all these cool spiders. I'm going to catch all these spiders and put them in my ant habitat. Oh, I locked them in. Oh, look at you, little boy. Oh, okay. Fuck, I'm so turned around. I'm so turned around. Am I going back the way I came? He's pushing on that door right now. He's mad. He's mad because bad. Please tell me that this is a shuttable door. It's not. It's fucking not. We're back where we started. What the fuck are we even supposed to be doing? Find the main valve. Oh, we gotta find a valve. Shit, fuck. I feel like we may have passed the valve by now. This is way back. This is where we came in from? Fuck. I don't know what's happening, dude. Why did you expect that sentence to end in other than around? <laughs> I get you. I get you, Miller Hero. Oh, it's cracked the shit out of my neck. I don't know if it came through the mic, but if it did, that would have been a gross ass noise. Shut, 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 shut. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Now we definitely turned around. And the security dude locked us out. I'm hoping that he, he stops his pursuit. He's totally coming in here. There was some definite Rice Krispies actions in that neck joint, man. Fuck, fuck. Ah, one hit, one hit is fine. We can take one. We cannot take two. So now we have to be good. Which is not my strong suit. It's not Valve. Where the fuck is the valve?
This way? This way. Valve. Valve. Hail Mary play! There's no way. He knows. He knows. He knows. He doesn't know. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Your dog's name is Frankie and your nickname is AJ. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Sench. He super knows or he doesn't. That worked out pretty well. We've gotten to a new place, which is good because we kind of ran in circles there for a really fucking long time. We still haven't found the main valve. But I feel like we are closer than we have ever been. It's got to be in one of these rooms, right? That's where they tend to put valves inside rooms. I feed nothing. Two for two. We're going two for two. There's totally a dude above us, and if he's real hungry, then that's all he wants. He just wants a man to eat. There's no way it's going to work twice. There's no way. I, can smell you. I really don't think that you can. Oh, man. Click, click, boom. <laughs> nice, Mellow Hero. Appreciate the moderating. Whew. Fucking stop jingle jangling your fucking shit, man. There was a battery on that ta on that bed, though. That's really fucking good news. We are in desperate need. Oh, it was on the table. Fucking scared, dude. Fucking scared. This has to be it. I mean, I've said that kind of more times than you can possibly uh, believe. And it's totally not it. This is just a series of rooms designed for hiding. Oh, hey, desk battery. Oh, hey, bed corpse. Like, not cool, man. You can't just be hiding around wherever you want. You have to take into account other people's feelings, man. Let it flow. Occupied. Three for three. I know you're close. Yeah. You don't know shit. Maybe if your dick was hanging out, you'd be able to find me. But you're wearing pants. Oh, Hank Handle Man. It's him. The man. The myth. The fucking worst thing in my entire fucking life. So maybe we're supposed to follow the pipes? I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like we've looked pretty much everywhere. It's none of these rooms. Unless, did we look in the first one? I feel like the first one is the first place that we hid. Yo. Where the fuck? Oh. Gas room. Oh no, fucking this is where we can't. This is the beginning again. He seems so mad right now. He's fucking jingling his bells. Outlast has officially gotten you. You've now involuntarily exclaimed total nonsense. It sounded like a gazebo hoop. Oh, okay. Is this a new room? No. 
This is the same room. Oh, fuck. We've been here before, and this is a dead end. Ah! Uh, gazebo hoop! I'm doing my best here, man. Doing my very, very best. Is there any, like, hints as to where... It might be? There's just- there's arrows for the gas room. But the gas room don't mean shit. He <laughs> hoops your gazebo for fur. My gazebo has never seen anything like this. I feel like following the pipes is the only logical thing that we have to do here, but the pipes seem to go in a fucking circle. Mike, in general, try to head towards brightly lit areas. Most games rely on that for attracting players. Yeah, I'm totally, totally into that. Uh, fuck. We, we can't follow the pipe. The pipe splits up. Okay, that pipe is going to go in here. Yeah, and then it just fucking keeps going forever. I can hide in here for now. It's nothing. We should we should definitely not forget to grab that battery. That battery is it's good shit. The pipes honestly seem more like they're just made proper duct work for the building. I don't think they actually indicate anything. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm thinking like that was not a bang. Uh, I'm thinking like it's a valve that we want to find, so if, it's got to be connected to pipes, right? So at the very least. A pipe must lead to it, I'm thinking. Like, I feel like there's a boiler room here or something somewhere that we, like, just haven't stumbled across yet somehow. What the fuck? Why were you just waiting? What the? What's wrong with you? What an asshole. He was literally just standing outside the door, not trying to get in. He was just out there fucking breathing. Also, Dispaminite followed. Thank you very much, Dispaminite. Right, this just says gas room. And the gas room isn't what we want. The gas room... We're dead. Fuck. Um, but yeah, the gas room... That is what we want to unlock by doing whatever it is that must be done. But we haven't found what it is that must be done. Alright, this room is pretty sweet. Also, Sveti Bond Lurk. Thank you very much for the follow. Also, another fucking battery. We're rolling in it. Oh! Fuck off! Come on, then. Oh, man. I was doing such a good job carefully fucking moving about. You know, searching everywhere that there is to search. God damn it. So it's not the server room. We've already gone down this hallway once. How many times are we going to let him chase us down this hallway? Oh, we can... This time, we can shut the door behind us, though, now that it's open. Okay, that's good. That's going to buy us a little bit of time. Get somewhere where he doesn't know exactly where we are. So it's not here. This hallway seems like a prime suspect. No! You will not get fed, son! There's something about this hallway. It just seems, it seems a little out of the way. Also, the battery's not here this time. A little out of the way. A little, a little dead. A little dead for me. Oh! I cannot believe. Alright, let's come in here. Let's just shut that door behind us. Hopefully he doesn't try to get in. Fucking hell. Yeah, fucking, all, we've just checked all of these rooms. I'll be a little bit cursory. But, um... Find the main valve.
For some reason, you just reminded me of Half-Life Full Life Consequences. I don't even know what you're talking about. That's how OG YouTube it is, apparently. Mike, maybe you're just bad at shutting down Steam. hey -oh! This guy gets it. Dude, he's totally waiting outside the door again, isn't he? Fortunately, this time we can take a hit. We're not at half health. We've regenerated back to full, as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can we can crack the door. So he's not he's not right here. I totally forgot about cracking the door. Yo, we've straight up been everywhere. Is that him? No, that's him. Hmm. I feel like it should be like here, where this light is. This is like the biggest set piece in the whole fucking place. Stop smelling me, dude. That's creepy. Is a dramatic reading really amazing? Of really quote unquote amazing. Half-Life 2 fan fiction animated in Gary's mod. That sounds like something special. Yo, I think they forgot to put the fucking lever in. I'm starting to get pretty sure that that is the case. I'm actually starting to think that maybe what is happening is we need to be looking at the ceiling. There may be a vent or something that we need to go into. Like, that's the one thing that we haven't, like, done. He's like, look up. We don't have to talk about this. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Well. Yeah, we just don't have to talk about it. Yep, gas room. I was like, I was so sure the gas room was just this. And that's why signs are pointing to the gas room to like lead us towards our final objective. I had, there was no thought that I had. Oh, fucking Jesus. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to put you guys through this for the past, like, hour. Where's the fucking valve? We're a gas leaker. Use the shortwave radio in the prison. Oh, God. We're going to the fucking prison wing? That's scary. Also, I may have just wasted a battery on accident. So, 100% chance this dude's just gonna be here. Uh, this way. So he wasn't just waiting for us. I, where do we want to even go now? Back through the security room, I guess? Wait, that was fucking locked. Did you not see us? He totally didn't see us. Fucking worst cannibal. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. After many years of trial and tribulation... We finally have achieved freedom. Shutting the door behind us. Essential to maintaining freedom. Shutting this door behind us. Shutting all doors. Oh no, this is the gas room that we actually wanted. I was wrong at six ways to Sunday. God damn. I cannot believe. Also, that's a pretty fucking hype battery. This is as many batteries as we've ever fucking had. I hope it's not annoying for me to just kind of like turn on my flashlight for a second and then turn it back off. Seems to be the most efficient way to use our batteries. Like with that, we can go through there. Oh, we've been here before. We've totally been like all up in here before. I, I'm drawn to this, which means it's probably awful. Hmm. Oh, this is just, yeah. Well, he's he's dead now. Okay, we can go. We can go. Uh, You were like quadruple bluffed. Impressive, Outlast. This game is so much better when it's not being speedrun. Yeah, I don't think that I'd be really into an Outlast speedrun unless, like it, like, it doesn't seem like the kind of game where you'd be able to really break a lot of stuff to speedrun it. Like, it just seems like the kind of thing where you just, like, kind of just fucking run through it. I like fucking like, like, uh, 
Dark Souls speedruns are pretty cool. Especially Dark Souls 2 speedruns are really fucking fun to watch. Uh, Uncharted speedruns are surprisingly fun to watch. There's a lot of breaking the game you can do there. This is very foggy. Somebody's busting out a little bit too much of the reefer in here, if you know what I'm saying. 420 blaze it. He got video games, died of video games. What? Oh, wait, where's the corpse guy who choked on the gas? Oh, was that in that gas room? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe he got eaten? He couldn't have gotten eaten. No one could have gotten to him until just now. Unless there's a, a monster out there that can fucking breathe in the, the toxic gas. We're totally outside, dude. So there's a couple ways that we can go right. Are you kidding me? No. No. You were mine. No. No. I'm gonna fuck right off. Okay. This place is a little bit, a little maze-like. Uh, you're a fan of the Kirby Superstar speedrun mainly. Hmm. How long do you think a Twitch place Outlast would take? Oh man, I don't, I don't know if it would take that long. Hmm, it's hard to say. I'm trying to think, like, I'm I'm trying to, like, mentally compare it to, like, stuff that I've seen, like, uh, like, Dark Souls. If they did the same sort of, like, pausing thing as they did with, like, Dark Souls, then I think it would be easy fucking money. Easy money. Like, there'd be, it'd probably, it would take a long time because the pausing makes it take longer, but I think that the actual in-game time, <laughs> like, the run time, if you were to edit out all the pauses, would probably be about a normal run. Maybe, like, maybe 1.5 times as long to account for silliness. This is fucking back where we came from. Wait. No, this is the other side. Alright. Well, we're following in the footsteps of some crazy motherfucker. The squishy, blood-laden footsteps. You just love it when the grown men add the letter Y to the center of the word no? Nyo? Nyo? What's so great about Nyo? Oh, it is a goddamn maze. It's a goddamn maze up in here. Get away from me. I'll get away. I'll, I'll get so far away right now. I will get so far away right now. Yo, there's just fucking jogging time in the city. Locked. What if we stay up here? Just in case. Hey, it's the prison block. That's what we wanted. We want to get to the radio. Right, that's currently plan. That's like that was like our overarching plan for the whole game. I imagine we're gonna get some more short-term objectives soon. We can't even try to open that. Somebody's here. Somebody. We should go this way, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't get cornered. Oh, is this the radio? No, it's just a normal ass fuck. Ah, oh, it's just a fucking phone. Fuck. You have to do it faster? That's how Cannibal was saying no? Like, no? No? No! No! No. Oh, yeah, now I hear it. Now I hear it. Always run towards the sounds. What's going on, B Pingry? B Pingry? Where the fuck do we go? So that dude never made it out. It's just nice. Definitely not sad about it. Can we nickname the cannibal so I don't have to keep typing out cannibal? We can. I would nickname him Hannibal, if anything, which is exactly the same amount of letters. We can call him. We can call him Big C. That's slightly shorter and has a nicer ring to it. Big C in the his house, buzzing up his buzz saw, eating on your organs. Bro, let me in. 1v1 me, bro. 
Hey, blow. 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 1v1 me. Let's call him Jerry. Jerry's pretty fucking good, too. You got it right. Hin plus Gree. Uh, what was the name of that? This is what the game is. He's playing alone and losing. That's what the game is. There's a mathematical proof that if you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on up to infinity, you can arrive at an answer. If you stop shy of infinity, you have an indescribably large number. If you continue all the way to infinity, you arrive at 1 12th? Negative 1 12th. Negative 0 0.8333. 0 0.08333. Repeating. I'm losing my grip on things. I'm thinking about the drive here. 400 miles in a rented truck. The job that shows up just in time to cover our bills, our debts, the insurance, the boys sleeping in the back. Nothing but AM radio, gospel, country western, late night. Paran... Par Paranoia C? Paranoiac? <laughs> Talk radio. We sang Patsy Klein songs and laughed at conspiracies of aliens and ghosts. Mile marker numbers passing in the headlights. I don't want to die here. Wow. That was a that was a nice little thing until you started making it all morbid and creepy. Okay, I feel like Yeah, we don't want to leave. Prison block. Prison block is what we want. There's no way the game is going to cock block us from the prison block. There must be like an open window or something that we can climb in. This is definitely locked up. Oh, I know. I know. Maybe not. I was thinking we maybe had to climb up somewhere. Like, like way up. This seems like it's perched in such a way to make us jump into this window. Are any of these open? Dude, they, so many things just kind of lined up next to fucking windows, making it look like we're supposed to climb in. Paranoiac, yeah, it's a pseudo-intellectual way to say paranoid. Hmm. For now, you're cock-blocked by the prison lock? I don't know. I don't know if I buy that. I don't think there was anything. I mean, yeah, I guess we... Don't really have a choice but to go back and see what was back the other way. Fuck. Alright, we'll go back. Doing this for you, Mellow Hero. There were new noises last time we came out here. So I suppose it's theoretically possible. I feel like this was closed before. And I don't remember this guy. May totally be right. This is just leading us back out into the courtyard again. Hmm. This is interesting. This probably means to unblock your cock. That's what I'm saying. We must be unblocked. I feel like the solution is simpler than I'm giving it credit for. I feel like I'm overthinking it. I feel like I have that problem a lot in this game. Like, I'll fucking run around for hours, and all of a sudden I'll realize, oh, I just had to fucking, like, jump up. All right, you see, we're totally making progress. This is new shit. Hello. Are you, are you gonna get it? Why is he, like, listening? Like, he can't fucking see to the other side of this shit. Oh, we're gonna have to go into some sewer-ass bullshit, dude. Yo, totally... It's totally fucking sewer level time. I just got myself stuck. Yeah, we're actually stuck. Fuck, I have to save an exit. God damn it. Continue. All right, you're going to get some sleep. See you Saturday. I will see you later. Later, Aromancery. Uh, and we're back at the fucking door. All right. Well, we can we can get back to where we were pretty easily. Come on, come on. No, that's not what I wanted to do. You're expecting amnesia puddle puzzles in a Stanley Parable level game. I don't even know if it's necessarily Stanley Parable level. 
pretty much the extent of this game's ability to make me solve puzzles is uh, uh, putting things higher than I would expect and making me walk around and grab stuff. And also, I guess, sort of trying to figure out a way to get around the monsters is more or less a puzzle. That may be giving it a little more credit than it's due. Also, maybe a little bit less sewer to deal with than I was thinking. Hop it. Come on. Hop it. There we go. Alright, this seems prisony. This seems like the kind of shit that we were looking for all these years. He looks nervous. I would like to kill him. Oh, it's the fucking penis dudes! In all their fucking glory. Alright, don't ban me, Twitch. I'm sorry, I just I had to take a peek. Can we shut this? Alright. These motherfuckers, they mean business. I remember them from the original Outlast. The developer realized that nobody fucking likes sewer levels. I wasn't... I actually kind of loved the sewer level from uh, Outlast. It was fucking terrifying. Like, trudging through the fucking water with the fucking monsters all around being able to hear you and shit. That was, that was a good time. Yo. I can see you. Do we... Are they going to let us go? Whoa, whoa. I just actually turned all the way around. I thought that there was two sets of dudes. I was just being dumb. All right. They're just looking at me. Oh! Why did I push my luck? Oh, it's my head. It sure is a low poly dong. Alright, I made a mistake. We pushed our luck, and I was severely punished for it. I'm not nervous anymore. I know your tricks now, you fucking foreskin ass piece of shit. Wait, oh, I'm going backwards. I'm going backwards. <laughs> this looks so silly when you hop along. I did indeed fuck it, fellow hero. Fucked it bad. Alright. No mistakes this time. Hey, Major FM. What's going on? You just narrowly missed me uh, getting... Also, thank you for the follow. That was some, that was some quality timing. But yeah, you narrowly missed me, uh, me doing some dumb shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, y'all? Oh, God, there's so many. The penis guys are coming. Oh, God, it's a whole fucking gang. Jesus. Um, are they just gonna maybe let us go through the door? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's cool. We can go. I think we can go. Ooh. You're not gonna follow me up the ladder, are you? Yeah. We good, we good. Also, this seems like the kind of place where you'd keep a radio. A radio tower, perhaps. Which we need a key for? Maybe we just need to come in the other side? Nope. Still not the radio tower. But, you can all watch me struggle to read again. The Wall Rider Delusion. Oh, it's such a long one. Kurt, we've got another one, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to check it off as psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Wernicke's fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it to below level one in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of the Wall Rider within hearing of a contracted security guard and seems vanish and seems vanishingly improbable that he would stumble onto such an obscure mythological story on his own 
It's too similar to the Dr. Sam Samuel case or the others before him. It's one of one thing for formally sane medical personnel to fall under the delusions of their patients. It's another thing for entirely for those beliefs to be, I don't know, airborne. We need to talk in person. Billings. How long has he been streaming and for how long will he be streaming? I have been going for two hours and 11 minutes. I usually go for about six hours. I don't know. The last time I streamed, I went for like 10 hours. But six hours is generally the bare minimum. So you are here just at the at the top of it. We have much shaft left to uh, ride. I'm expecting to probably beat this today. I've been told four to six hours. Uh, probably closer to six because I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Whoa! I'm not stoked about going in the direction that that guy was running away from. All right. Dude seems pretty chill. Ah. Fuck, should we go hang out with him? I'm not sure that we should. I'm not sure that we have a choice. Fuck, yeah. We're gonna have to go hang out with homie over here. You'll be here for a while then? Good to have you, Mr. FM. Good to have you. Much shaft left to ride. It's a true science fact, man. Tell you, it's science, but it's not. They were waiting for us in this place. Billy understood. They've always been here. I knew that there was someone named Billy. You guys remember we say that? So this dude is totally cool. I'm digging this guy. He's got he's got some really nice forearms with some nicely detailed hair. He's not trying to kill us. That's probably my, my favorite fact about him. Unfortunately, it seems like our time with him is going to be brief. But I'm not looking forward to whatever the fuck we're going to have to deal with in the prison. Jesus Christ. We're at the we're at just the tip and we have a ticket to ride. This is the way it goes. Oh my god. Low frame rate shadows. We don't want to be near that. Oh my god, Every, there's things everywhere. I we have to try. Now now I'm curious. Now I want to try the other door. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. My curiosity got the better of me, but I didn't actually want to go in. What a terrifying PowerPoint presentation. That's where the garbage goes. True science fact. All right, what do we got here? <gasps> Yo, there's no way. I'm checking everything before we use that radio. All right, the radio is it, man. It's time. Our first major objective about to be completed. Boom. Yo, it's my boss. Whoa, dude, dude, dude. Don't beat the coffee mug. That's just pointless. All right, my face is fair enough. Do I have to do something? You couldn't just, you couldn't just keep we have to kill this man. How do we kill him? It's us or him. Oh, cannibal man. Cannibal man. Do me a favor and die here, Park. Yo, that was almost it. That was almost it for us. Fucking hell. Do we have penis men right now? Oh my god. Yo, you can go. You can go. You can go, though. That's what I'm saying is... I'm saying that you, you can go. You want me to go? Because I'll go! You just watch me go. The door doesn't shut. The door doesn't shut. Not even a little bit. Oh, God. What an asshole. You're supposed to be guarding security. You fucking cunt. Oh, my God. Um. 
Okay, we gotta keep going. I would love to look for flash batteries. Oh, shit. Jump, jump. Oh, 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 we're alive! <laughs> Just keep going. Oh, he's too fat for this. He's too fat. Too fat. Oh, you little chubby boy. Little chubby boy walking away. Looking for, he's, he's gonna go. Oh, no, don't go back. Going to look for some for, for some Twix bars to make yourself feel better. Ooh. <laughs> that was scary. Last time you heard someone give a shit about Flash, it was for the original version of Bindings of Isaac. Yeah, that's fair enough. I feel like it's still used for stuff. The under the Twitch player is still Flash, isn't it? Like it has HTML5 like. Used for like the buttons and stuff, but the underlying like actual code that drives it, I believe, is still Flash. It's certainly being phased out. Like nothing that is being made now is going to use Flash. No one's going to start a Flash project at this point in time. Flash is dead, a relic of the past. Not such a pussy. D down. Down T. I feel like I remember this room from the first Outlast. The fourth episode of my Outlast Let's Play starts in this room. I'm almost certain of it. I may be wrong about the episode number, but I'm almost positive. There was men having sex with a dead body nearby. Flash is in the same bag as Java in that sense. Is Java really on the way out? I guess I haven't heard much about Java. I just, like, I haven't seen Java being actively phased out. It's just been sort of hiding in the background. Creepy crawling around. Down, down, down. Somebody who looks as much like a priest as this place. Wait. As this place looks like an asylum. Writing instructions on the wall. Talking about God. Tells me not to be afraid. How was I ever a part of this inhuman bullshit? Greed-driven moral genocide. The monsters murk off ripped from tortured minds. The lengths their jack-booted business school worms will go to to protect it. Their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed for my life, Lisa, but if some small-minded interventionist god is listening, kill Jeremy Blair before I die. Sanity and avarice. There is no pain he doesn't deserve. There is no radio, no hope of reaching the outside world. Only escape. I feel like if I was in this situation, I wouldn't have even have fucking wanted the radio. I just wanted, would have wanted out. Like, you really want to try and survive in here long enough for help to arrive and hopefully find you? Fuck that shit. Especially with, like, the paranormal shit going on. I would just fucking want out, dude. Lots, uh... All Android apps run on Java. Oh, lots of them. Alright. That's interesting. Oh, God. Yo. Oh, God. What? Is it the big man again? Have we reached chapter two? The big man? All right, so we got to come over here. This door is cracked. I'm not stoked about the noises I'm hearing. Oh, they're all locked in their fucking cells. Yeah. Need more of that shit. Dude, these guys are these guys are pretty mad. It's understandable. They're real. Oh, no. Actually, we should probably. I wanted to shut it behind us, but we should probably leave it open. I'm thinking, in case we want to run back this way. Also, we got a document. Miscarried profits. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not even. I'm not even doing this one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do it. It's been too... I'll read it later. It's been too, too little time since the last time I fucking stumbled my way through trying to pretend I'm literate. Gotta find Han's big man. These guys are going all kinds of Dragon Ball Z. I don't know about all that. I was just about to say I could go for some fucking batteries. This is the most batteries we've ever had. We have two out of two batteries right now. We will need to refresh if we find another one. We're probably gonna, like, fucking refresh well before we find another battery. But it's a nice thought. 
That's red. Okay, okay. I'll read it later. Why do I feel like I'll never see that paper again? I mean, I'm not... Oh, what? He's so fast. He can't be that fast. We were running. Yeah, I, I didn't have the most genuine intentions of reading it later. But it wasn't entirely out of the question. We're, I don't know which way he's coming from. I'm kind of turned around. I'm just going to run. Okay, he's definitely... This is definitely new stuff. Is he big enough? Okay, yep, yep, yep. I thought he was just going to plow through it or some shit. Come on. He's so fast. Keep him going. Keep it, What? Out the window. Go! That was a jarring loading screen. Ooh... Han just slender man your ass. He really did. Very nearly gonna need to load up a new battery. Can we not even try this door? That opened kind of a lot. But I guess I'll, I'll, I'll buy it for now that it's locked. Right, reload the batteries. Oh, we can just hop in here. Oh my god, this game wants me to read so bad. Alright, I'm reading both the documents. Proving you wrong, FM. Rick, fun hitting the greens last week. We should make the drives more often. Was reviewing some old test records from the early days of Project Wall Rider, and something sparked my interest. Were you following the project back in 2010? Apparently, we had issues with female employees experiencing psychosomatic pregnancies, something to do with how the morphogenic engine interacts with the immune system. All Greek to me, am I right? It was more often fatal than not, and these were employees and not patients, so a little harder to sweep under the rug. But the morphogenic engine activity in these ladies' marrow was off the charts, and these are women who never were even exposed to the additional hormone therapy. Now, I don't know PPM from a kick in the teeth, but I can read a spreadsheet. And if the projected profits are from Project Wall Rider, <laughs> if the projected profits from Project Wall Rider are half what they say they are, I've just got one question. Why aren't we performing experiments on women? God knows mental illness is an equal opportunity affliction. Seems unethical to pass up on such a good potential or such a fucking potential windfall. Jesus fucking Christ. You don't understand shit about programming, but you think it's really cool. It's literally my job to program, and I don't understand shit about programming. Oh, sweet. It's a poem. Those are so much easier to week read. He lied. Uh, above the knees, below the navel, sliced and sewn on Gluskin's table. To make a place to push inside, the groom will make himself a bride. Above the knees, below the knees. Okay. This is the same thing over and over. That's, that's, that's a creepy fucking poem, though. Ah. <sighs> You understand enough to help someone troubleshoot, but you couldn't write your own program. Dude, that is the best thing about streaming fucking development, is somebody who's not 100% like in the mind frame of a programmer being there to sort of help, uh... Please tell me we can push this in the way. Oh, we can push it out of the way. I don't want that. Uh, but somebody who's like not like a, a total programmer there to like sort of just provide another perspective on how to like do stuff or fix stuff. It's really helpful. You plan to do something with software after college? Don't know if you'll major in software design or IT or maybe internet security or some shit. That all sounds pretty interesting. Internet security sounds like it could be some fun shit. Mike Malbeck, proving that you don't need to know how to succeed. You just <laughs> you just need the will to kill a CEO. I'm glad that you uh you stopped lurking just in time to do a call back to my greatest failure, CKD. Can always count on you. All right, looks like this is the way we're supposed to go. Uh, this way? Ah, oh, battery. There's a battery on the floor. There must be a fucking... Hmm. 
Can we get in this? Oh, wow. I did not look big enough for a person, but I'll take it. Uh, where was that battery? On the other side of this, right? Oh, it was a fucking playing card. I got bamboozled. You know I love you, BB. I know, CKD. I know. Maybe a little too much. Okay. That's that's electrified. That's fair enough. Probably should have figured that out by the uh, the sparks. Hopefully we don't have to deal with a monster right now. So I think we're one hit away from dying. Alright, we got that. We got this. And... This is just electrified also. Okay. We don't want to fuck with that. Past nonsense won't, nonsense won't matter once time fight rocks everyone's cocks off. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm crossing my fingers from, for some seriously rocked cocks. But you never know. Some people out there, they don't like me very much. You want to keep yours? Well, you better stay away from time fight zone. But again, CKD said it's going to rock, rock everyone's cocks off. The residual cock rocking may just be enough. Like, the ripple effect may just rock your cock off from proximity. You may be screwed, man. You may be screwed. You hope you beat PA before Time Fight Zone comes out? You haven't beaten Paranautical Activity. The game is so easy. The only people who don't like you have never actually met me. That's fair enough. Can't think of anybody who knows me who hates me. Then, not, then again, no, fucking, I'm gonna, not gonna name names, but I totally have somebody who was a relatively close friend of mine, and then decided he hated me after the, uh, the Steam situation went down. So it wouldn't be out of the question. A cock wave, if you will. Man, I should have got there. I should have got there. Is he peeing on that? Is he, is he peeing? He's jerking off on it. That's so much worse than peeing. He loves this dead body. He's all about that life right now, dude. Look at him fucking go. Come on. is pretty easy, not at first, but it gets easy. I don't know, the, the last few patches kind of uh, ramped up the difficulty a little bit. But still, most people can consistently beat it after a good amount of play. Okay, so that should open up not me! That should open up some opportunities for us. Namely, we can uh, touch those door handles without getting electrocuted and almost dying. That's going to be pretty exciting. Man. I thought we were so rich. I thought we had so many fucking batteries. And now we're about to fucking run out. You didn't play the newest patch, you played the shit out of it before, though. I, like, I don't think the very final patches changed the difficulty too much, but, like, around the time of release, we, uh, we bumped it up a little bit. Basically, just, like, adding the ghost and hardcore mode uh, made the game a little harder. Why is there still sparks? We totally... We turned off... What's our goal right now? Exit via the administration block. Yeah, what the... We... You watched me turn that shit off. What did we do if not that? Like, that was a, a giant fucking epic switch. Well, like, there's nothing else I could have done. That's not gonna, like, open a door or something. Maybe somebody came in here and turned it back on? Spooter, I've never met you, but understand that shit happens and tempers get lost. You don't hate me for the Steam thing. I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Okay. Hi! You... You were the one! You turned it back on. <laughs> that was not very nice. Oh, he, he just opens it! He's so much smarter than all the others. Okay, we need to fucking find these fucking doors. You were so scared of the ghost before you put him in and turned out to be not that bad. It just forces you to play a little bit quicker. Basically, it fucks with people like Biznap. Who like to really play it, uh, take it slow. And do every single possible thing on a level. But the average player, not much of a concern. At least not until, like, the really late game. 
please just he's still fucking following my fucking ass. Alright, I think we I think we lost him. Pretty much all games in the genre of PA, you just need skill and a little bit of luck. Once you master the game, you win pretty consistently. Yeah. It's a, it's a pretty interesting sort of genre. Like Beating the game, quote unquote, only takes like 45 minutes, but getting to the point where you can actually beat the game takes like fucking 10 hours, generally, at least for most road likes. It's an interesting design. Hey, it's Draxy! Did you miss any of Mike's screams? You missed a couple. I've been keeping my cool, though. You should, you'd be proud of me. Many. <laughs> Not that many. It was, it was a couple times where I got a little bit spooked. It hasn't been too bad. That's just gonna block that, yeah. Looks like we may be coming back here at some point. That, uh... Seems like a jumpy over section, if I ever saw one. That's the, that's the industry term. It's the jump, jumpy over section. Uh, you might never see the ghost until the really late game because you like to mostly go speedy unless you need to farm coins. Yeah, I mean, generally when I play, I like to play relatively quick just because I'm aware that the ghost exists. And uh, I've played Paranormal Activity so much at this point that I recognize that there's not that much need for me to uh, completely min-max. Oh, fuck. Uh, and I generally only see the ghost on like... Hey, that's not... Where's, where'd your head come from? That's... That's this body's head. Are we about to deal with a fucking headless dude walking around? I'm trying to complete a thought about paranormal collectivity. Anyway, four, floors five to seven. And also eight. Does eight even have the ghost? Yeah, eight has the ghost. Yeah, five to seven generally is where you're going to see uh, the ghost. And a lot of times, only really fucking seven. Because the final, the boss on seven takes so long that even if you get a relatively quick floor, uh, you may have to deal with the ghost. Also, that's one of the emotes on Twitch that won't load for you. Dude, fucking Twitch emotes, man. It's been broken for, like, weeks now, hasn't it? Like, it just happened out of nowhere. And now it's just been fucking fucked for too goddamn long. We can go through there. Can we go anywhere else? Okay, this is just... Yeah, this is just going back the way we came. We're on the inside of the electric fence now is what's happening. You just cannot be fast. You like to explore everything. Hate missing shit. Really? Even in like, even in like a roguelike, if you like, if you know for a fact that you've gone to every room that has like items and stuff in it, you'd, you'd still like insist on beating all like the normal enemy rooms just on the off chance you'll get like some consumables or something. There's certainly people like that. Like Biznap is definitely a, a lot like that to an extent. I just don't have the patience for it. Especially a roguelike that I've played a lot, like on the earlier floors. I just like fucking just want to get through it and get to the fun part, you know? Alright, we're gonna make this jump. Alley-oop! Easy money. Your main desire in any PA run is fire rate. Just because you use Gorton and the hook with extra fire rate gains exponential damage. It does not. Uh... The fire rate only changes how fast the hook, like, charges up. I think. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely fire rate on the hook only changes how fast the fire er, charges up. Not do anything to the damage. Maybe you just, like, are used to having a slightly higher fire rate, so you're better at keeping the hook inside enemies longer when you have a higher fire rate, but... It's not an actual mechanic in the game. You're that guy that never uses the bombs until the last bit of the game. You collect everything you can and use nothing. That's fair enough. You could have sworn it changes how many revolutions it did inside an enemy. Definitely not. Definitely not. This is a scary jump. I mean, I'm going to balls deep it. Ah, ooh, please, no monsters. 
Oh, we're going to climb back up. There's going to be a fucking dude. Just get up there. I'm pushing buttons. Oh, come on. We almost just got fucking decapitated by a fucking bucket. So we're dead now. This is what heaven is like. Can't believe we're almost three hours in, and I'm still on glass one of water. Oh, I thought we were in a cutscene. I don't know why I suddenly thought this game would have cutscenes. Okay. So are we getting a, are we getting a female encounter? It's been foreshadowing chicks a lot. Dude, we're in a fucking we are in a battery situation. That to be a battery emergency. Things keep up. Remember a little while ago when I was like, oh, we're so rich. We got so many batteries, we, we were gonna be wasting them soon, just like throwing them away. Things have changed. Oh yes. This is so good looking. Look how fucking sexy this shit is. It's beautiful. Where are the fucking voices coming from? Oh, there's a room over there. Can we get up there? That seems... Like the way. I don't know, man. Are there any women in this game? You only see dicks everywhere. I don't know. I know the first one didn't have any chicks, but they've been talking about women. Like, they were talking about women having weird effects with, like, the mountain's psychic powers. And, like, how they should be experimenting on women. I don't know. They're coming from your mind, Spoods. What's going on, Mega Pie Man? Alright, we are officially out of battery. Well, we have a spare. We have used up everything that is in the camera. I want to kind of hold off on using it, because we're kind of wandering around here. I don't want to spend our last fucking battery just kind of looking around, seeing where we're supposed to go. Are we supposed to like, jump out the window? The window is the brightest thing here. Okay, no. Oh, we can just crawl under the fucking table. I didn't think we could crawl under the table. Sorry you're late, Spoods. You were streaming for some Vermintide. No problem. No problem. How was Vermintide? You continuing to uh, enjoy it? Alright, I think we can reload now. Adding woman in any realistic way in this setting would have caused a shitload of problems. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I've heard of the development woes. I know nothing of it myself, of course. But I've heard that adding women is almost impossible in video games. Right, a little scary to go through here without light. Especially getting, giving, that feels like they're fucking whispering right in my fucking ear. Are they on the roof? They can't be on the roof, it's too steep. Yeah, this is freaking me the fuck out. There are people in this fucking barn. We're not alone in this barn. It's occupied. Are we back at the beginning? It's just, a, it's just another window, right? Yeah, this is a different window room. Hello! Thought you could sneak up on me with your fucking tilted ass eyes jibble jabbling around. Not today. I have batteries. I think we might have to walk up to him though. I don't know. I've done that before and I got stabbed in the stomach with a machete. Oh, he got hung. He's dead. He's dead. He wasn't trying to sneak up on us at all. <laughs> all right, what do we write down? Oh, we have two burning lights. Power is on, still on. Electricity. I need to think, Lisa. I thought the power was evidence that some manageable, some human force still controlled some small part of Mount Massive, but nothing human or sane can do anything here but survive. And even that, not for long. You were always the reasonable one, Lisa. You would tell me to calm down. 
to take a larger view. Madness and inhumanity rule this place. Whatever is keeping the electricity flowing is trying to trap me here. I need to shut it down again. Oh, that's from when the power got turned back on. He dead? Quite dead. In indeed. Indeed. Uh, back inside, like the harder I try to escape, the deeper I get. Dead men aren't a surprise anymore. Suicide seems wise. So, it has just occurred to me, and keep in mind, those of you who have seen the end of this game, the title does say no spoilers, so I'm just hypothesizing here. But we're totally gonna die. We're not gonna escape. If this guy had escaped, then Outlast, like, Outlast 2 can't happen. Like, like the actual Outlast. Like, this is the prequel to the regular Outlast. Vic, if they catch us, they'll give us to him. The man downstairs. The man. As I was saying, like, if this guy escaped, he would, like, tell the government and shit, and they would come shut this place down. So, it's fucking, we, we die. We die, is what I'm saying. Because this place is still fucked up when the actual outlast happens, which is after this. Unless, like, Kill the rats. fucking hell. Oh, fuck. We gotta run. We gotta go. Um, unless, the theory is that, like, we get put in an insane asylum because people think that we're crazy and they don't believe what we're saying. But I feel like they'd look into it regardless. There's no way to keep this kind of thing wrapped up. That guy, he's had a couple bad days. That's damn right. Oh, man. Of course, we gotta read more. How do we have two notes also? Did I go for like a 30 minute period where I just refused to read and I forgot about it? Kill us! Burn the building! Worse than death here! Kill us! Kill us! Not that. Patient Dennis. That's ah, so long. Dr. Ford, I conducted another interview with your patient, Dennis, this afternoon and have to agree with your suspicions in the course of a 40-minute interview. I had a wide exposure to all four of Dennis's expressed personalities. As near as I could tell, two brothers, their father, and their grandfather, they seemed primarily concerned with the sort of life-threatening flood. Though there was little consistency between this event having already happened or threatening imminent arrival, the clarity of his delusion, the and performative nature of the personality's expressions certainly suggests m malingering. I admittedly fall in the Furstenberg camp of categorical skepticism of disassociative personality disorder, but Dennis's case seems clearly invented by an attention-seeking patient, more likely symptoms of gross narcissism and obsessive-compulsive disorder. Continuous shock therapy. Sincerely, Dr. Wolfram. Contain complains about reading in a game with a journalist main character exploring a psychological facility. We're not a journalist in this one. We are a fucking software engineer, I believe. Some sort of computer guy. We have no business writing anything but code. Or reading anything but fucking numbers. So totally thought we were going to get fucked by some dudes. May not, may still happen. It's not over yet. Oh, we're about to fucking be on our last battery again. Thank God. Oh, God. All right, reload. This door's got to be locked, right? Yeah, that's just blocked off. We can't even try it. I mean, we could try it. It'd just be pointless. Your job is whistleblower, and you'd think they wouldn't be surprised when you steal secrets. There's no way we can jump high enough to get up here. Yeah, it won't even let us get on top of the pallet. Oh, hey. This place is a fucking maze of wood. Who designed this fucking barn? What is its purpose? This barn is clearly purposeless. Hello! There he is! What do you think? Oh, he'll do. Wait, for once we agree. Alright, this way. See, see, I kept my cool for so long there. I waited for him to come, and then everything was great. 
Please. It actually opened. Shut it behind you. Oh, shut it behind you. Oh, God. Where's the chick, though? Uh, fucking... All right, this way. Oh, easy money. We're out of here. No monsters. This is a monster-free zone. Everybody knows monsters can't climb or else they'd be fucking Spider-Man. Uh, yes, the base game. You get a message from the guy he's playing now and investigate. Yeah, yeah. I understand the linkage. I understand things sometimes. That sounds like a woman. That's what I'm saying. There's a woman in here somewhere. I don't know if the game's going to show us the woman, given how expensive it would be to add her and how many problems it would cause with the base game. From a technology perspective, it's almost impossible for this woman to actually be in the game. But you never know. Somebody playing Fallout in this room? I found the chick. Holy shit. What? All right. Hopefully no Twitch admins are watching. Is... Did they cut off a dude's head and just, like, put it up against their fucking... Lady? Oh, God, there's an eye in her navel. What the fuck is this? What? They like cut her open and stitched a head inside of her and then also a head to her. Um. Uh. Battery. We got a battery, guys. No sorry, Bob. That's cool. I don't know if cool is the right word, FM. Really disturbing. That's that's much more up my alley. Much more my thoughts. It's like a fucking cannibal corpse album cover. The man is holding his wife's hand as she gives birth. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed he was holding her hand. I'm not sure if what happened to her involved giving birth. I'm not sure if I buy that. That was a grown man's head next to her. Woo <laughs> you guys both said it was the fucking Cannibal Corpse album cover. That is insane. That is incredibly specific. We're going to be on last battery again. I guess I should just get used to being on zero batteries. It's more or less been the name of the game since we got here. Please tell me this is openable. Oh. oh! <sighs> hey, Tom Tafar is still here. Well, you're at the groom part. This is going to be good. Fucking hell. That's nice. I, it's just, it's fine. I was just expecting a scary person, but you're cool. Is he in here? Yo, we can't do this with this many batteries. We actually can't. This is like scientifically impossible. Whoa! Oh! Oh! We're got! We're gotten! Hello. You don't have to. Oh, this part? Okay. So that's... That's, uh... That's everybody? Yeah. Major FM saying this is gonna be good. Okay. Okay. Now that I know we're all on the same page... I can do this! I can keep my cool. He does have to. He's a grown man. He can do what he wants. Uh, what? Okay, this is a little, he's a little, he's a little harder. It's in his programming. You know, you make games.
We're all on the same page, and that page is fuck. Oh, man. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Boop. 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 He saw us! Alright, it's gonna be time to reload very soon. Alright, he's not that quick. We just reload now. Ugh. I don't know where we're supposed to fucking go. I imagine he opened some path back here for us. Oh, God. Oh, sweet Virgin Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Dude, he, he mean business. He don't fuck around. He fucks in a straight line. Oh, God. Where the fuck do we go? I'm just going to use all our battery running around. Not there. Is there a door over on this wall? Oh, fucking God. Relax. Relax. Everything going to be okay. I didn't touch your wife. But I'm pretty sure she was holding some dude's hand. You should, you should show him what for. Yeah, open this door, dumbass. Oh! I found a way out. Spooder is Catholic? I was raised Catholic. Uh, as you can see my, by my behavior, I'm not exactly practicing. Spoods, you are his new wife. Oh, I get it. I found my dress. I'm about to look stunning. Considering it's the hour of your death, now would be a good time for a certain holy virgin to get her prey on. Alright. More? More? Oh, fucking. Right, we gotta make a move on. Take advantage of this uh, solitude while we can. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fucking come on, come on. He's so slow. He's gonna, like, sneak around some other way, isn't he? I think we're okay. This thought is not so much based in reality as much as it is based in my hopes and dreams. This fucking barn. I'm starting to think that I was wrong about us being in a barn. Because we've been in this barn for like an hour. It would have to be such a big barn. They just don't make them this big. It's not how barns work. Also, dude totally did not pursue. It's pretty exciting. Unless he's... Oh, it's open enough. It's open enough. No, it's not. No, it's not. Push. Push. Yes. Yes. No. Man, we were like an inch from getting there. We were so close. Oh, time to push. All right, this time we don't choke. Yeah, what you gonna do? Walk up? You gonna walk up and hit me or something? Who fucking cares? I want you to have my baby. Oh, we straight up are his new wife. Like, no, no joke. Do it! Yeah! Oh no! No, 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 no! Yo! Yo! Oh! I want you to have my baby instantly stabs an ass. That's not how it works. Hi, honey. I fell. Don't be crazy like that. Come on, you know it's not like that. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch is always getting over dramatic. 
Um, do we want to ride this all the way up? We probably want to get off, right? Oh, God. We're fucking in limp mode, dude. We're straight limping. Okay, not that way. I don't know where he is, dude. A uh, woman's work is never done. Damn right. Get to work, bitches. Fucking fuck that fucking leg wound, dude. For real. That is not the kind of shit that we need to be dealing with right now. This game is fucked up. You love the gore. It's It's got some pretty good imagery. I fucking... I love Outlast. I'm so excited to finally get around to playing Whistleblower. I've been fucking... I've been wanting it for a very long time, but I wanted to stream slash record it, and I fucking stopped streaming, like, right when it came out. Just because I had other shit to do. Time finally came. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Damn right. Dude, we're about to be out of fucking batteries. Please. Just one, one itty bitty battery. I cannot deal with my husband without batteries. He's so insistent that the remote be charged up. He's here. He's here. We're out of batteries and we're locked in. So we're, we're just dead. You're not what you're meant to be. I don't... This place can see Guys? Guys? <clears throat> the worst for you in horror games is body horror, nasty injuries, grotesque body morphing turns your stomach. It doesn't get, it doesn't get me too bad. There's some specific stuff that bothers me a little bit, but... For the most part... I just, I just enjoy it. Okay. Not gonna waste any battery on the way. We know how to get there. We can just kind of stumble through. It's nice and nice and bright out. There's no place like home. Ain't that the truth? Should we maybe follow the trail of blood? I feel like the trail of blood may maybe not the best idea. You know, whoever dropped that trail, they are bleeding, so they can't be the smartest person in the book. I know what to do! I know what to do! He ain't gonna be looking up in here. My love's auger. Darling. Oh! Schnookums! Schnookums? A delicacy to be unwrapped and unwrapped again. Savored. Mmm. Here we go. So this is what we were supposed to do. I think it's not good. I've been a little vulgar. And I want to say I'm sorry. I just It's fine. You know how a man gets when he wants to know. It's just true. This guy's a bit of a nut. He's not so bad. No, he has his temper, but he loves me. And he really gets me and he makes me laugh, which is the most important thing. He used to make me laugh so much. Your little brother tried to get you to watch Hellraiser. He loves that the movie. Fuck no, I started watching that. I watched like the first half hour and it was fucking boring as shit. I was very sad. Anything happened to our children? Not like. Oh boy. You excited, Tom Tafar? You excited that my husband's dragging me Ooh, off in yeah. a fucking locker? This is like high school all over again. As eager as I am to consummate our love, but try to enjoy the anticipation. Everyone watch Spooter's face closely the next couple minutes? This will help you. Oh, no. No. Fuck. Fuck. You were disappointed by how boring it was, too? You had high hopes. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a classic of the genre. But apparently it's from an era of boring ass fucking movies or some shit. Alright, that's not us. We're still in the locker. So whatever happens to that guy, I don't care. It's not gonna upset me, Tom Tafar. Darling, I need you to try to bleed less. I know the fair sex often endure the same wounds with more suffering. But you really need to make an effort. 
Oh, he making a vagina. He making a vagina, but it's a boy. It's a boy. He giving it a vagina. Oh, yo, fuck it. Yo. No. I'm so sorry, darling. Love isn't for everybody. Yo, is he just stabbing people in the dick and trying to make it a girl? You just try to see if some doodle survives getting stabbed in the dick and then he gonna fuck it? <laughs> OMG, that's amazing. Oh, just FM, you are, you are a nasty little man. Oh, silky smooth, like a little girl again. Oh, God. Worn, delicate bits. Oh God! The buzz saw. Oh yes! That was a nice sequence. I would like to not have this happen to us, though. Can we have some crazy plot twists now? I predicted our death, but not like this. Mellow no, Hero, you okay? <laughs> Such soft skin. Oh god, my penis! Everybody can see my penis! Don't look. A woman has to suffer some things. It's not pleasant, I know. But just try to endure. For my sake. For the sake of our children. You're literally staring at Mike and Chet. <laughs> it won't take long. A few snips of the flesh here and here. Cut away everything vulgar. A soft place to welcome my seed. To grow our family. The incision. The protagonist is always fine. You clearly haven't and played out last one, Mega Pie Man. Birthing is never easy. Oh God! Oh God! There's a bus stop by my dick, dude. There's a bus stop by my dick, dude. He's, we're going towards the fucking bus stop. I'm pushing fucking. Oh! Whoa! Oh, it's our best friend. Oh God, dude! I told you he was gonna be together forever. Yeah! Fucking get him, Alex. Was his name Alex? I can't remember. We made up a name for him, and I don't remember. Yo, my fucking dick is so happy right now. It's like my dick's fucking birthday. The protagonist was fine till the end of the game. A, the end of the game kind of snuck up on me at least. And B, I don't know if fine is the, the word for it. I don't want to spoil too much. But there was some fucking mangling, dude. Now our limp has turned into like a fucking gallop. We are... I'm not a crazy bitch. I'm not a crazy bitch. I can be a good bitch. Please tell me this door opens. I'm straight up not mentally prepared. Uh, go. I'm too slow. I'm too slow. Fucking donkey was not born for this. I'm... That door just chained. We're out of batteries. Oh, God. We're so out of batteries. I can feel him on my neck. He's breathing. Wouldn't it be sad to accidentally just touch the saw with your dick? <laughs> that would be sad. That would be a sad day. Oh, come on. Please let this be the way. I'm hobbling as hard as I can. I don't know if I should turn or go. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, God, we're cornering ourselves. We're cornering. Uh, uh, go, go, go. Just go. Just fucking go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Did we go in a circle? Can we please tell me we can still hop over small things? Oh, fuck. I'm jumping out this window and I don't fucking care. <sighs> you Lysol's finest bitch. 
I am not a slut. I was deeply embarrassed when everyone saw my penis. A slut would embrace that. Whew. Everything's okay. That was awesome, though. You know, as traumatizing and horrible as it was, that was pretty fucking awesome. So we're back at the elevator. Or at least a elevator. That one doesn't have a ladder, so I guess it's probably a different one. That's chained. Ooh. Spoon used to host sluts doesn't mean he was one. That's damn right. You're not defined by the, the things you do. Ha, huh? everything is okay. Maybe not entirely everything. Important things, you know. Our life continues to not be over. Our penis continues to dangle in one piece. You're naked, naked with a fucked up leg. I mean, if I had to choose between leg and dong, I'd fucking, I'd lose both legs in a heartbeat. If I had to choose between dong and battery. Dong and battery, that's a, that's a closer uh, value proposition. Like it's not a slut, he streams the sluts. And you guys know what's good. You guys, you guys know. I've got a separation. Coffee. Obviously water. Wait. Maybe actually coffee. It looked like water with the, uh, night vision. Yo, so much of this game is just pitch black. I don't remember Outlast being this dark. I'm definitely a fan. Like, it makes the whole resource management with the, uh, batteries feel much more meaningful. Because without batteries, you're straight up just fucking dead. In most areas. How's it going? You're not supposed to do that, by the way. It's, it's dangerous. I totally fucked myself up on a thing like this. Like, a, a vent? When I was little, I was, like, I was hanging out. My dad works at a cemetery, and I was, like, bored. So I was hanging out in the mausoleum. And I was throwing up his ski cap and running around and trying to, like, catch it on my head. Because it was a really high ceiling. So I could just throw it up really as high as I could. And then, like, try and catch it on my head. And uh, I was running and running and running, looking up. And I fucking slammed into a vent like this and, like, sliced open my eye. Or, like... Right next to my eye, and I had to get stitches. And I still have a scar there. It's a pretty cool scar. As far as scars go. Outlast had the sewer, which was super dark. Yeah, I mean, like, Outlast definitely had pitch black areas. Like, kind of a lot of them. But this game, like, almost half of it is patch is uh, pitch black. It is very dark. And I fucking, I like it. Also, we have some, I think we have a couple notes right now. What fresh hell... A man's body mutilated and bent to mimic or mock the moment of birth. That fucking chick we found was a dude. It was a dude. That, that explains why it had like a cut under the boob. Because it wasn't a boob. It was a man nipple with something stuck in there. Um, anyway. A man's body mutilated or bent to mimic or mock the moment of birth. The kind of thing a man cannot see without changing in some irreparable way. I don't know about all that. I saw it and I feel fine. Lisa, I was with you when both our boys were born. It was until recently the most miraculous thing I had seen. Completely outside of reasonable belief and yet somehow central to everything I've come to believe since. You always said I was too literal, too literal minded, tried to turn everything into an if then statement. Uh, lately, I've widened my horizons. How can the things I've seen here be? But I know the answer may, the answer, money, profit, these things. These things we made just because we could. Man nipple, why is that funny? I don't know, man. It's, it's just a science fact. It was a man's nipple. Still intact. I'm here, Lisa. It's still me. He, he tried to make me his bride to cut me. Maybe I was wrong. Telling the world would only draw it here. Should this place just die and fester here? I won't tell the world if it means spreading the infection. Let it die. Let it rot. Bluebeard's wives. Bodies hanging like wet laundry, like skinned rabbits, men mutilated, hunted, and murdered. The shortest distance between any two points separates violence and ruined lust. Whatever story he's telling himself, he's not making women to bear his children. He's making women to kill them. Lisa, I want you to burn this place and any evidence it ever existed to the ground. Destroy the Murkoff Corporation. Bury it in shame. Take away its money. Wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love. He thinks the therapy made him better. Everything reeks of death and fear. Piss and coppery blood. Meat decomposing to game. 
Uh, it makes more sense because I couldn't believe the death would show a woman like that. <laughs> well, I mean, from a technical perspective, of course it couldn't have been a woman. It would have been technically, technologically impossible. Also, Chaos donated a dollar. Thank you very much, Chaos. Can you blow my doppia bui sol baby? Doppia bui sol baby. Let me know. Girly M. Gonna show you how to do. Even we start real slow. You just put your lips to get around you. Come real close. Can you blow my doppia bui sol baby? Doppia bui sol baby. Here we go. Doppia bui sol baby. I really gotta turn that back to English, but I really enjoy Chaos desperately trying to make the fucking random languages I pick sound normal. What the fuck language do you even have it set at right now? It's still Italian! Same thing as last time. I think! Is Dokle W in Italian? Maybe it's German. Is, do you think it's French? I cannot believe this is still happening. There's so many ways to go. And I feel like pretty much all of them are going to lead to us getting fucked. Oh, God. We're walking down the aisle. I don't think this is the right way. Oh, key. Go, go, go. Oh god, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, touch it, squeeze it, touch it, squeeze it. Um Push. We need to push this. He's totally gonna fucking come in here. I can fucking taste his fucking ass. Uh, I I wanna read chat because they're talking about languages, but I can't. I got I my husband. Duty calls. So there was totally a door that was locked that we needed a key for. I can't remember where it was or how to get back there. All I remember is how to hobble. Hello, hobby. Was it across this? Not through the bathroom. Not through the library. It was over here. It was in this room. Uh, it's not French or German. You speak French and you know enough German to know that it's not German. Hmm. There's no way we can make this jump. But we can! No, this is just back the way we- Okay, we can just hide in here for a minute and make him- let him leave. You only know it's not Portuguese? It could be Italian. I feel like it is Italian. I just- Like, the way she was like, doppel or whatever. It sounds not Italian, but I don't know enough Italian. To say for sure. So we've, uh, evaded our husband. Once more. Wait, was the locked door through the vent? It was, wasn't it? It totally, fucking, let's go. Let me check that out. I feel like it was back like in the main lot, like the main room of the... I don't know, we're wasting a lot of potential battery life over backtracking. But if it's, if, if I'm right, then that's fucking sweet. We don't have to worry about our husband or anything. But I feel like it totally was. This door. Fuck yeah! Oh, what? Hi, hubby. I, I just got that key though. I wanted... I don't know what to do. Is he missing a hand? You can hang like the rest of them. I would like to not. It's the thing. What the fuck? Come on, Alex! Alex, I'm in here with the chicks! Oh, I didn't even notice there was bodies hanging from the ceiling everywhere. Alex! There's no way Alex is gonna ha hail Mary us twice. I don't know what to do. Somebody get me my camera! I need to film this! Alex! Somebody! Oh, the ceiling's breaking! God damn it, what are you. Oh, what? What? Oh! Ah! 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 I'm waggling! I'm waggling! Did we? Superpowers? 
Are we fucking Billy? Been beautiful. Dude. Maybe we're not gonna fucking die. Maybe we're gonna become one of the monsters. Because we just totally superpowers this guy. It feels good to not have to worry about him anymore. We still got the cannibal running around and I'm sure many horrors to come. But it's nice that he's 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 tied up. My husband can't uh, he can't join us. He's tied up at the moment. You have no idea what just happened. He's dead for some reason. I think we activated our fucking mountain powers and uh, like somehow telekinetically turned the tables. I don't know. I don't know. A pipe broke and the rope and pulley system failed. How did that end up with him getting flung to the ceiling, though? I, I guess maybe we're heavier than him, so we, like, ended up pulling him up. I don't know. He's a pretty big guy. Dude, these loading screens. I remember them being a thing in Outlast. Not a huge deal. Oh, sweet. I totally triggered a note. That's cool. A burning church. A chapel on fire in the distance. I didn't even know we had a church. Where's God when you need him? You're not sure, though? It's just what you took from it? I don't know. I feel like the way his, he was, like, moving his hands, it seemed like he was more actively involved. And the fact that it had me waggling, I don't know. Also, what's going on, Rocket Lobster? You just missed the craziest fucking hour of video game that has ever fucking been. I'm sure there will be more to come as the game continues to climax all over my face. So, uh, get hype. <gasps> Let's just say he's dead. The heroes are here! What kind of sick fuck would do this to somebody? Raise your hand if you're gonna be dumb and stand here until they notice you. I've seen more than enough dick and balls tonight to last me a lifetime. And not all of them attached to a man. Let's wrap this up and get back to the truck. Amen. They're really not going to look over here? Dude, worst soldiers ever. Also, whoa! Is this game happening at the same time as normal Outlast? Because this guy... Sorry to spoiler Outlast a little bit here. Uh, mute the stream while this fucking finger is up, and I'll put my finger down when I stop spoilering. But this is the spoiler finger, so be you've been warned. But uh, this guy fucking dies in the story of Outlast. You kill him in the elevator shaft. And, those, and you get killed at the very end of the game. Major spoilers. Two spoiler fingers. At the end of the game, you get killed by soldiers that look just like that. Are we intersecting timelines like right now? They are happening at the same time. Spoiler finger down. Everything's safe now. It was almost like he was being pushed up, but you don't think it's powers or whatever. It's happening just a few moments after. I totally thought it was like a prequel. Well, the beginning was definitely a prequel. And I guess, I guess like, as the events have transpired, the other dude showed up or something. Or we woke up at the same, like, time that he got here or something. I guess it stands to reason if we sent a letter and the dude, like, rushed right over here to get the scoop. <laughs> Having side by side with the first one? I, I... You're so ready to be disappointed by not getting into the Overwatch beta? I'm also ready for that. I fucking... I want it. And I've... I know people who know what determines who gets in. And I know people who are like, have a guaranteed in. And they won't fucking tell me like, how to increase my chances. And they won't fucking like, get me in. It's the worst. Such tight-lipped bullshit. Serve and protect! Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military contractors, whatever they call them now, they're as helpless as the rest of us. Need to get out. Escape. Beyond hope. Dear sirs, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress from Rudolf Wernicke. For Rudolf Wernicke from structural and financial systems at Mount Massive. His advanced age should alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among whom he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper, and legally speaking, he died years ago. I understand patients number number and number number and number number have already been scheduled for transit. 
Uh, we're all terribly excited at the obvious po profit potential of the new project. My researchers have combined through Wernicke's files, has combed through Wernicke's files, and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Wernicke was sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope. I knew Billy was the name of the ghost crazy superpower guy. Along with his own infirmity to be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I hope that... I only hope the new facility is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff so that I can see what comes with my own eyes. Uh, ch ch I think there's just a family and friend list that you can be put on if you know someone from Blizz. Plus, I think some big streamers and YouTubers might get priority also. Other than that, it should be random. I, it's, it's not, though. I'm, I'm not certain. Like, the people that I know that are, uh, like, in close enough to be, like, guaranteed into the beta and know how the selection process works, uh, they're not super close friends and also, like, people who know how to respect a fucking NDA. So they won't fucking tell me anything exactly, but there's definitely some factors that are considered. Like, it's not, it's not purely random, even for, like, the, just, like, the random open beta testers. I suspect it's, like how many Blizzard products you own or something like that. Like, people who, like, might have their full library would be uh, placed in higher priority. Or maybe, like, people who show a lot of playtime who, like, would be more likely to uh, really actively engage in the, the beta in the community or something. I'm not sure. Location and PC specs. Yeah, location! That's something I hadn't considered because they want to test servers in all regions. So they probably have a certain quota for, like, each uh, area. I hadn't considered PC specs, though. I don't think they... They don't, like, collect any data from you on your PC specs when you sign up, though. Dude, this is so weird. Every now and then, like, running into the same... Like, places that we went to in uh, Original Outlast. I remember exactly what I was doing in my Let's Play of Outlast. I was talking about... There was this fucking movie that I watched. The Grey. I was talking about The Grey. I don't know why it came up. But as I was walking up these stairs, I just randomly started, like, making small talk. I was like, hey, I saw this movie called The Grey and something, something. I just started, like talking about how I felt about it and, like, synopsizing it. It's very weird. This is, like, the third time that's happened where I've, like, walked into an area, recognized it, and, like, remembered what I was saying at the time. It's very interesting. For sure, account activity plays a role. Yeah, which is concerning because I literally had to make a Blizzard account. Or is it a Blizzard? Whatever. I had to make an account for whatever fucking company made it. Uh, so I don't exactly have much account activity. I also don't have any fucking, uh, products under my belt. So I feel like my chances are pretty low. And I'm certainly not a big enough fucking streamer to get guaranteed access. I couldn't just fucking email Blizzard and be like, Alright, my 1,500 or however many fucking followers on Twitch I have. There are, every single one of them is itching to see me play fucking Overwatch. I don't, it's not even the kind of game that I think I would like streaming. Battle.net account. That, that'll that do it. Outlast and Liam Neeson versus Wolves. I thought it was Liam Neeson. I wasn't sure, though. Is this the fucking lobby from the first game, too? I don't remember what I was saying in the lobby. But I do remember the lobby. I'm a little bit lost. Hey, can we just... Can we just open this? Yeah. Yo, this is the coolest. Like, this music plus, like, fucking old Outlast areas. So good. Especially for someone like me, who Outlast is one of my favorite games of all time. It's giving me the, the, the throwback feels, man. Right, time to do some throwback pathetic reading. My dad works for Blizzard. I can get you a key. Hey there, Mike Malbec, creator of Paranautical Activity. What's going on? The gate. Welcome. Uh, ch ch caution. Level 3, triple black security protocols, including chemical restraint, physical restraint, and separate adaptive hyperbaric chambers are to be used at all time in transit. Chemical simulation is highly recommended for all personnel within 500 meters of the patients. Attempts at communication should be assumed to be hallucinations. And disregarded. Facial disfigurement should not be taken as a sign of lost acuity. They are physically blind, but not unseeing. 
Note security clearances for Project Wall Rider will not apply to information regarding patients, number, number, and number. These are the same numbers from before. New security clearances will be issued and appropriate protocol assigned. Also, do we have a note? No. Sky the Pikachu! We've gotten we've gotten a wave of people showing up. What's going on? All the late nighters starting to roll in here as we were approaching midnight. Past midnight, depending on where you are. But where I am, we are merely approaching. Read it in a French accent. I will totally read the next note in a French accent. We will we will bust out the OG French accent. Next note, guaranteed. People waves are the best. It's the best kind of wave. Ocean waves are all right. Man, I want to go to the beach. I just, I just got an overwhelming desire to fucking go to the beach. That'd be nice. It's been a while since I got to the beach. I, I usually go almost every year, but I was uh, I was really busy this summer looking for a new place and shit. And I didn't get to go. And then once I found a new place, that new place was in fucking Iowa. And it's not exactly much opportunity for, uh, for beach going here. All the doors are bolted. I'm pretty sure this is a segment from the first game as well. And the door wasn't bolted. But this is after the main character in the first game goes through this door and it's not bolted. That's weird. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Go to Corn Beach in Iowa. It's 9.30 in the evening for you, you on the west coast. Also, best waves are waves of an orgasm. That's fair enough. That is fair enough. Do we have any water left? I got like a drop. Like an itty bitty little drop. Anyone want to do your homework for you? I don't think so. Like the military's there, they bullshit. Oh yeah, alright. That makes sense. I'll buy that. Dude, that's straight up the fucking front door. Are we about to be able to walk out the front door? Something's gonna happen when we walk up to the front door. And it's the kind of shit that's like bad. Orgasm waves are people waves. That's a good point, CKD. That's an excellent point. So either we're about to beat this game, or this is about to be the saddest thing. How the fuck are you still alive? Where is he? Let's make a deal. You help me. No, no, no! I didn't mean to get that close. You fucking cunt! How do we get close? No one can know. Yeah, Billy! On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give that a Billy. Raise this card. Alright, Billy. You and me are cool. We're both wall riders. I've done nothing to you. Well, I guess I kind of worked for the company that tortured you. But I just wrote code. It's just ones and zeros, man. Leave it in the past. Crawl it. Oh, we're gonna walk it. I can't not look for more notes. I can't not. Belay! <laughs> Damn right, FM. We always knew. We always knew he'd be there for us. Okay, this music is getting kind of scary. We should maybe go. I don't want notes that bad. Certainly not worth my life. So now what's the plot twist death here at the end? Dude. What is this? Uh, you're making muffins tomorrow? Banana chocolate chip or both? Fucking chocolate chip, son. Don't even joke. You know damn well. Oh, hey, the exit is here. Ooh, a dark corridor that leads to nowhere. I'm gonna go there, baby. I just had a, I, I like, I, while, while I don't like reading the notes, I like getting the notes. It's the car from the first game. Are we gonna use the guy's car from the first game to escape? Did he leave his keys in the car? I can't remember. I remember, I feel like he took his keys with him. Oh, no, we're totally about to hop in here and roll out, son. Victory.
Oh god. Who is that? It's somebody with superpowers. No way. We got so close. Fucking back up out of there, son. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh. I'm not even sure what just happened. You press that button. It's not going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Merkel. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoiacs with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, they'll do nothing to Merkel but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. We already established that that was empty. I don't know what I thought I was doing. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Is it going to make me push the button? Yeah. Credits? Credits roll? Yeah! Three and a half hours! Y'all said four to six. Nice! Dude, that was fucking awesome. That was fucking... Dude, that part with the fucking... The husband, that long-ass segment... Aw, oh, that was... Maybe my favorite fucking segment in horror game fucking history. That was goddamn good. Holy shit, I've... Never have I ever said just fucking go out and buy something, but fucking go out and buy Outlast and also Whistleblower. I think Whistleblower, I think I like it slightly better than Outlast. I think Outlast had maybe a couple more iconic set piece moments, but Whistleblower is so, it was just so perfectly paced. It was just that perfect amount of content, never lets up on the fucking throttle. Ugh. What a ride. You're sad you came in so late? It is not over. I have a contingency plan for when the game was too short. Poor Ringmaster, he underestimated my skills. He was like, yeah, I was going to take you like six hours on the hardest difficulty. You little chump. We didn't die very much at all. We did fucking good. We did fucking good. Also, the VOD will be on YouTube, Sky. Be all over YouTube and also Twitch. But I mean, obviously Twitch. Whistleblower seems like a tighter experience. Yeah, like... I feel like the only reason that Outlast 1 had more, like, iconic set-piece moments, like, really memorable stuff, is because it was just longer. So there was just more time for there to be that kind of stuff, but there was definitely a lot more downtime. But, like, fucking... This moment, this game never had that sort of... Like, in, in Outlast 1, spoiler finger again, in Outlast 1, you lose your camera at some point, and then you have to fucking go through without any sort of light source for a, a kind of long time, and then eventually you find your camera, in this pitch black room and the only light source is like the camera so you like fumble over to the the light that you see and the light that you see it turns out to be your camera and you grab it turn on the light turn around and the room is full of fucking enemies and that was one of my favorite moments of any game i bet no one even gives a shit about the spoiler finger but it's a courtesy all right but yeah that moment was fucking awesome and this this game never had anything quite that good but the fucking taken as a whole the whole fucking segment with the husband was so, oh, so good. So good. It's like they took everything they learned from the doctor section in fucking the first one and just cranked it up to 22. Me screamed like a fucking whale. Did I scream like a whale? I don't know if I screamed like a whale. Courtesy finger. We should call it the courtesy finger. That'd be much more, much more relevant. Man, it feels good to get through all of that in, in one day. Then again, I don't know what I'm going to fucking do on Mondays now. Monday's supposed to be horror night, and that's like... I, we could do Alien Isolation. I never played Alien Isolation. I've heard, I've heard good things. Back in the day, everyone was fucking talking about how great Alien Isolation was. And then, uh... Like, I started talking about it again recently. Like, oh, yeah, I might, I might think about playing this soon, now that I finally uh, picked it up. And people were like, yeah, it's all right. It's not that good. But I think that I would like it. I think it's, it's right up my alley. Uh, was it me? I'm pretty sure. I 
I did some screaming my original Outlast Let's Play. I, I feel like I used to be a little more susceptible to horror games than I am now. I'm still certainly su more susceptible than most, or than somebody who doesn't like horror games, but back then I would piss my pants for not very much. Also, streaming horror games is a little less scary than Let's Playing them. Just having you guys here makes me feel a little safer. So I'm going to run a quick, quick music break, but we're going to play some classic sluts random indie horror games that even though I downloaded them less than a week ago, I still can't remember what any of them fucking are. So some of them are going to be awful. Some of them are going to be great. Let's be real. They're probably all going to be awful. But uh, stick around. This music break will take less than two minutes. So don't get lost. It's dangerous to go alone. Wah, 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 wah. 